what are you guys doing happy thursday guys welcome back in holy cow all right let me scroll down and and say thank you Erdy. thank you for the five gifted subs crate with five more gifted subs and also constellation as well guys thank you so much for all the gifted subs and welcome back in happy thursday happy good day i also see anon popping off with gifted subs to enforcer and ken dog with the reset for four months in a row as well hydrate by smithy i probably could use that anon with the gifted sub to milos and then i think there's a few others also promahead got an anon gifted sub and also has caps lock on <laughs> snap a light with 14 months storm storm thank you so much for 10 more gifted subs you guys please do not like please um i really appreciate it and anybody that's gotten gifted subs in variant <laughs> Invariant with five more gifted subs to the channel and community, guys. Please, not today. Max as well. <laughs> Max and Variant, guys, thank you so much. Tumu, thank you for the hundred bits. Prama, please take caps lock off. It's somewhat aggressive. <laughs> Bamboozle, welcome back in. Guys, thank you so much for the gifted subs and the bits and Phil. <laughs> Fat Batman, what's up? Welcome back in. B Dubs is here. Yes, the chicken leg. You're more of a crack pot than a crack shot. <laughs> <laughs> Phil. <laughs> Phil, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. And Pixie with the gifted sub to the channel and community. Birdie, welcome back in. Own, oh, why are you guys doing this? That better be what I think it is. Bamboozle. <laughs> Own, oh, welcome back in. Emerson's here, real KV. Zach, welcome back in. I see Shadow. I saw London. London, I hope your eye is doing better. Overzealous, I hope you're better. I saw you were at the hospital as well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> London with the 2,000 bits and clout. Clout with 20 gifted subs to the channel and community as well. Guys. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Steve-O, thank you so much and welcome in and clout with 20 gifted subs to the channel and community. You can't do this. I was already barely holding on to come on. I have today. tried to treat you all as adults, but obviously I am the only adult here. Water mascara. Number fun. one, inverted penis. Clout, thank you so much. And Anon with the gifted sub to Petty. Petty, welcome back in as well. And anybody that's popping in, I'm missing a ton of y'all. Twizzler, welcome back in. Glide Path, Prama again. Welcome in, Butcher. And guys, just thank you so much. <laughs> Purple. A nice cry is a good way to start a strong stream. <laughs> Petty. No, I'm not meaning to cry. Purple, thank you so much for the 2,000 bits. Tumu with the 100 bits. Master Da Vinci, welcome back in. Anon with the gifted sub to Stevo. <laughs> Is that what the 2,000 bits are? No, it's spazzy. <laughs> Anon with the gifted sub to Jangles as well. <laughs> I actually need that cat, Game of Thrones. I need that today. All right. Kevin, Max, Sparky, thank you so much and welcome back in. <laughs> What does it say? <laughs> if you don't want subs today, then we can do it this the way instead. It's totally up to you. Of excitement. The second <laughs> being Maggie. In her natural habit of paying particular attention to the side costs of this adventure. Guys, beans, welcome in. <laughs> Thank you. 
AJ, Matthew, guys. <laughs> Matthew, thank you so much for another hundred gifted subs. And Ernie. <laughs> Reason, welcome back in. <laughs> Turning with the 10 gifted subs as well. And AJ with the 500 bits. Sending a quick reminder that we love you so much. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I was barely going to come on today. Like, I don't know why you guys are doing this. Oh, shit. Fness, welcome back in. Mr. Welcome back in. Bamboozle, can you explain why we're crying? Um. Spazzy. Who did it? Raj? Was it Raj? Guys, I need to go get it. I need a tissue. Hold on. Guys, thank you so much. Um, I just want to say, like, I don't, I don't really want to talk. I really don't want to talk about it today. Um, and so, like, if you are confused what's happening or if any of this is because of yesterday, um, there's a message in the Discord that kind of talks about it, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't really want to talk about it, um, but I really appreciate all the support. Oh, great, with five more gifted subs as well, you guys. I feel like I gotta go crazy for Moab. Welcome back in, Master Da Vinci. All right, I'm sorry, hold on. Give me one second. I really don't want to be doing this right now. Hold on. <laughs> Just one second. <laughs> I just needed some cat cuddles. <laughs> um zero, thank you so much for the resub for 15 months in a row and Ernie with 20 more gifted subs. Um, Tumu with five more gifted subs as well. I'm sorry, I just need ginger cuddles during this. But um, yeah, guys, please. Crazy. <laughs> London with three more gifted subs. And Anon with the gifted sub to privacy, please. This mother will do um, anything uh, there is no to way that I'm going to say be able to even welcome everybody back in or say how grateful <laughs> for WD-40 or like say how grateful I am to you guys for all of your kind comments. How about a round of Gwen? <laughs> Alcon, what's up? Welcome in. Sped Key, welcome back in. How about a round of Gwen? Um, add more. Howie. Guys, thank you so much. Pikachu, Ginger's trying to hop on the desk right now. Phil, with the five more gifted subs to the channel. Your health is low. Do you have any potions or food? Imagine if this is somebody's first time popping in here. They're going to be so confused. Please don't feel like you have to force yourself to stream. I'm, I'm really not. Um... <laughs> Overzealous. <laughs> I feel better. And I hope you will too. <laughs> Much love from all of us. Less than three. Over is Ellis. Thank you so much. Wars here. Elden, welcome back in. It's allergies. Exactly. It's just allergies. Zealous, thank you so much. And I hope you're better too. Moldef. <laughs> Flew up. Me having popped in five seconds before you said that, wanting to hop into the Jedi Survivor VOD. <laughs> Wes, thank you for the gifted sub. Enforcer as well, Anon. Um, and Wes, and yeah, Ginger's cutting onions. No, um, guys, thank you so much for all of the support. And I, I know I didn't have to hop on and stream today, but I want to. Like, I want to be here and, um, 
like streaming makes me so happy like you guys have no idea how happy it makes me feel and so like this is what i need <laughs> um i know it probably is a little strange for anybody that is probably not in the discord then you're not tracking but um this is all i'm gonna say about it and then we're gonna move on okay um but i posted about it in the discord and i've just had a huge invasion of privacy that has impacted not only me but also my family and people that i love and care about greatly um and in all five years i've had some things happen but nothing nothing's ever been to this extent um and so i shared a little bit more about that on discord but i just really please ask that you guys respect my privacy and respect that i share everything that i have made a boundary of what, that i'm willing to share with you guys and beyond that i ask that you guys don't pry um not wholesome i mean i will say the community is always gifting subs and it is for also like it normally it's normally super wholesome um but yeah this is somebody who has made a judgment of me and the judgment of the community so quickly and it's been misplaced and it's also impacted my family and that is like the line for me like i can't stress enough that i put myself out there to be judged and have some really horrible things i'm sure on on comment sections on youtube videos and things like that said about me but um my family is separate from that and that's a huge line anon anon with 20 gifted subs to the channel and community as well um thank you so much <laughs> Blue Dynasty, welcome back in. Sonic, good job. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Like, I don't know why y'all continue to do this. Molzef, continuing their gifted sub from Anon as well. And Armpit, welcome in. Well, I saw, I remember you followed last time, wasn't it? Welcome back in. And, and I see it's your first time chatting. Um, so I just want to say that briefly. I just want to address it because I also know like a ton of people don't know what's going on. Um, but I also don't want to kind of breathe more life into it than's necessary and give this person what they're seeking. So with that, I really want to move forward and um, get into the gameplay and get back to like hopefully making y'all's days better and the same that you guys do for me. So let's focus on moving forward. And I think I saw somebody was saying main quest or side quest i say a little bit of both okay i say a little bit of both um and boobamon thank you so much for the the tip as well i know it's catching up um you are navy by the way you have an army behind you and your family bamboozle thank you so much for the kind words and anybody that's popping in moving forward gasp welcome in Bakli, thank you story of aurelius thank you so much the silent five of cat hair floating everywhere the silent majority is being pretty loud with their appreciation today ubiquitous welcome back in erdy with the gifted sub why not both i like that let's do a little bit of both you guys time to romance kaden oh wait da, da, da. no <laughs> okay so i do want to have no fear your caster recap is here as well um ng welcome back in jules Thank you. You don't have to tell us anything about what actually happened. Of course, of course. I mean, it goes with everything. Like, I I hope you guys understand that I always am as transparent as possible. Um, but I also have my own boundaries. And I, I just don't want to breathe more life into this than it has already happened. So I posted on Discord. This is the one time we'll talk about it on stream. And um, I say we move on from it. Let's see a cast that can survive her gambling addiction. <gasps> that would make me feel better. I feel like we should go gamble a little bit. And Zero with time out of mod. Casty, welcome back in and thank you. Let's get back to HR complaints. Oh no. Wait, it says gingerly? <laughs> what is this? Wait, did Much it... love, Maggie. You're such an amazing person and we love you so much. <laughs> it auto-corrected somebody. Crazy. You guys crazy thank you so much for the donation as well we love you maggie you're amazing thank you 
I really do love you guys so much. Moving on chat, let's talk about the purple egg and the quads. <laughs> Moldef came from FF Remake, now catching up on stream through Jedi Survivor. I'm so glad to see that you're enjoying the content and have come over from YouTube to the live side of things as well. And hopefully you're enjoying the VOD channel. It's a little crazy. Um, my whole face is red Yeehaw! now. Look what you guys did. I'm a cowboy! <laughs> what is happening? Kraken! Kraken, thank you so much for the five gifted subs to the channel and community and spazzy HR riots or we riot. Who does Zero want to ban? I didn't even see it. And Mayor, I just want to give a big hug and look forward to your streams from now on. Mayor, thank you so much for the hundred bits and the kind words and just... Ashen One. Thank you guys. Hearest thou my voice still? <laughs> Star Pass, of course. Rocker Gav, welcome in. Oh, now when I hear Sorry, Gav, I, I think FF16. Don't know what happened and you don't have to repeat yourself, but I hope you feel better soon. Kraken, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, and just for anybody that is wondering, if you are in the Discord, if you There's go to the announcements, wound. you'll see. Um, Fuchs, bye bye Darpass. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, Fuchs with the reset for 42 months. I got to ban Darpass. Um, and variant i really appreciate it and classy welcome back in classy out here representing with taco bell split split thank you so much and welcome back in ruben ruben thank you so much for the donation as well guys invasion of privacy is the worst you deserve nothing but the best seventh witcher thank you so much and welcome back in um yeah, I wish there was a way to share across all of it as well. AJ, you guys are going to keep making me cry, please. You may not have won at Wint, but you've won all of our hearts and we are here for you. Always, you have to read it in Snape's voice. <laughs> AJ, thank you so much. Sith, welcome back in. Mike, welcome back in. Roomba, yes, but I am crying for good reasons. I'm crying because of everything, including yesterday as well. Like, Bear with 50 more gifted subs to the channel and give you <laughs> dark and dark. Welcome back in, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Maybe I can't do this today. <laughs> oh. She just put her butthole on my phone. <laughs> We all love you so much, Maggie. You bring joy into our lives when we need it most. <laughs> Was that Snap? Snap. Thank you so much. Rye, welcome in. Oh, gosh, guys, I don't know if I can do this today. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger. <laughs> Clout with 25,000 bits as well. Remember, we are your family. <laughs> Arnie, thank you so much for the donation as well. Why do you look so awkward, Ginger? Clout, thank you. Like, thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, it's okay to take some time. <laughs> it, the thing is, I want to. Like, I want to stream today. Howie, thank you so much for the bits as well. You must really love Kaden. <laughs> Guys, thank you. Like, beyond measure, I can't express just how much all of your kind words yesterday meant as well. Like, in the Discord and just your response to this, but... 
please understand this isn't this isn't something I wanted either. Like I, I really want to stream today and you guys are making it hard. You're making it extremely hard <laughs> in the best way possible. But um I also need to ban Darpass. Let me ban Darpass. <laughs> Uh, no, I feel like, look, we might not do a super long stream today, but I want to get some side questing done and just, just do some things. Aries, thank you so much for the 300 bits as well. <laughs> Hatless, welcome back in. <laughs> Bear with the gifted sub to Taco Bell, but does it say part time? <laughs> no respect for remote only. <laughs> Ryan, welcome back in. All right, guys, I'm gonna get started on the game because I feel like that's the only way I'll be able to like keep going uh, with a little bit of a stream today. It's probably not gonna be very long, but um, just thank you for all the support. And again, like I know a lot of people are probably popping in and just wondering what the heck is happening and. Again, I don't want to talk about it, but if you guys are in the Discord, there's an announcement and that can kind of speak to it. But um, that's all I'm going to say on it. I'm running out of Taco Bell. <laughs> all right. Let's get back into it. Um, Falky, I, I missed as well. Yeah, if you guys were not here and the one called Martin, thank you for the follow. We still need to process what happened last stream. That's also true. <laughs> I can sleep on time then. <laughs> yeah, I say we do a little bit of side missions. I, I, I can't. My brain, I'm going to be honest, is very scattered from yesterday and today. Um, so I'm trying to remember like where we even were. But Ninja, welcome back in. And Jaeger, and just this goes for anybody that I missed. Welcome back in. Anybody that responded to the message yesterday. Thank you, guys. Um, and Brandon, thank you for the gifted sub to the channel and community. Oh my goodness, that was a big yawn. That was a massive yawn. Brandon, thank you. I wonder how much wildlife you're gonna accidentally kill today. <laughs> yeah, let me get back to let me get back to um do the, the recap because I might need y'all's help with that. Um, and then we'll go from there. Wayfarer. Discretion is bread and butter. I really appreciate that. I do. Um, yeah. Hold the line. Skywalker, thank you for the follow. I think a lot of people assume because you put your stuff out there online that it means that everybody has a right to everything. And that is so not true. Like, everybody has a right to their own privacy. Especially people in my life that don't choose this. And so, um, yeah, <laughs> it's, I, at the same time, have to be incredibly thankful that after five years, this, like, it's been over five years. I mean, and I've had small things here and there, but, um, I can't help but feel like this is also at the same time a long time to go and, and be safe. And I've been very fortunate up to this point. Crux, welcome back in. Um... I always wonder what's happening when you want to know more. Malore? Oh my gosh, yes, more lore. Exactly, exactly. Brandon, thank you so much. I'm going to get it started. And then we're going to recap, and then I'm going to recover, and we're going to be fine. Um, <laughs> thank you, guys. Moldef hopping onto VOD since I don't want to get spoiled. Absolutely, you're totally fine. Thank you for stopping by, and this goes for anybody that's on their way out, or I know it should pick up in a second. Anybody that um, is popping through or came from YouTube, thank you guys for being here. And uh, next Saturday, I'll have it together, okay? Saturday, I will hopefully be back to normal. Rob, welcome back in. Sub, welcome back in. All right, so where were we? Really, I never bought, I never brought both of them on the mission and Caden was boring AF, so it was easy for me. It was kind of difficult for me. I mean, I know we meme about him being in cardboard, but it's not necessarily true. Wafer, exactly, exactly. Um, Damon, I see, welcome back in. Beans, absolutely, awareness. 
Yeah. Oh, if you send me your credit card information. Um, I know we're joking about this, but I, I really like, I know we keep it lighthearted and fun in this channel, but I really do ask that you guys don't joke about it because it hasn't been funny. Um, it's been a really hard feeling for the last 24 hours. Um, Berg, thank you for the 100 bits. And I appreciate it. And already with the 1000 bits, shortest intro ever. Just so I can get out, just so I can get back into the game. Um, do you even want to dance? Is that what it says? Welcome in. Walter, welcome back in. All right, so where were we? I gotta think. Don't joke about Kaden. Ginger, do you want to get down? You're just sitting in front of my screen and you know I need to play. Retro, welcome back in. I finished episode two. I didn't realize episode two dropped. I have something in my eye now, you guys. It's probably mascara and it's... <laughs> it's a mess. Oh, yes, we were going to start with Codex. That's the perfect thing to do. And Cito, thank you for the follow and welcome in. Okay, I wish my voice wouldn't betray me. I don't know if anybody else is like that, but my voice will always tell when I'm emotional or not, and I hate it. Wonder, thank you so much. And welcome back in. Kate and many have been recycled. All right, so before we get into the codex, because that is what I said we were gonna do. Um, last, last episode, we got a lot done. We actually got to meet, um, oh, it's not Sentry, what is it? Sentinel? We got to meet Sentinel. It's your voice. I hate it. I hate it. I want it gone. I don't want to be emotional. Um, we got to meet Sentinel, which was such an epic moment. Beyond Sovereign. Sentinel? Where am I getting Sentinel? <laughs> Sovereign. We got to meet Sovereign. Um, so that happened. We met Sovereign. And then what else am I thinking? We met Sovereign. What else did we do? And then, oh, and we lost Caden, yes. So surprisingly enough, I sent Caden to um, to set the trap on the bomb, and then I sent Ashley with the Solarians. And so also because I wanted to save the Solarians, I did in fact um, save Ashley. I think it more came down to Caden versus Ashley, but I'm really happy that the Solarians survived as well. If I had flip-flopped it, I think if I had sent the reverse, I do think I would have saved Caden because of the Solarians. I think. I punched Saren, which was so epic. That is also extremely true. We met the Sentinel. Like what? The semi-mental? The Sentinel? Sentimental? Uh, so we are going to listen to some codex, but I do need to drop Ginger off. And if you guys don't mind, I just need to step away for just one second and then I can come back and get back to it. David. Oh, David, I saw... Oh, was that you that popped into the Discord? You are fine. You do not have to apologize for that. And also, I just want to let anybody know, never take... Well, unless you know when, never take my eye roll serious. It's like a problem. When I was in school, my teachers would tell me that my eyeballs were going to get stuck in the back of my head from how much I just rolled my eyes. I don't intentionally do it, and I don't mean to seem disrespectful. I just have... Uh, loose eyeballs i don't know <laughs> they just just want to do their own thing um and yes we saved rex i do want to say we saved rex but let me grab ginger and get her off of here and then i'm just gonna like i'm gonna come back i'm gonna re like refresh give me one second i need to grab like tissue she's gonna scream <laughs> yep i knew it i knew it. i have loose eyeball <laughs> all right hold on y'all Antihistamine. Zealous. Right. Beat ups. Guys, I have weak thumb syndrome and loose eyeball syndrome. Bear. Arty. I also need to hydrate. Guys. Beat ups. Overzealous. David. Great. Guys, thank you for all the gifted subs. Retired six pack thumbs. <laughs> you know, I love how I walk away for a second to say, guys, I gotta go recover. And you guys come in. You just, I, <laughs> it's like, well, I'm borderline like, okay, we're just gonna end stream. I'm gonna go watch Interstellar in the Discord and we're just gonna have a cozy night. Lindsley, welcome back in. T sub, welcome back in. And Philip, Philip, thank you so much for the reset for three months in a row and welcome back in. Okay. I need to like 
pad my nose or something because I feel like it's so red. I look like Rudolph right now. Interstellar. Oh, I think we're going to do Interstellar next Friday. So the, not this Friday because we did a movie night last Friday, but oh, next Friday. <laughs> it's not your fault. You bought such a charismatic chair. Well, joke's on you because I think I'm getting a new chair. So enjoy this chair while it lasts. Okay, guys, enjoy it while it lasts. This is all twisted and messed up. Hold on. Um, war. Rat dog, welcome back in. Wait, what was that? Was that a quiz? I love the chair. Um, I'm looking for something that provides a little bit more support. I'm a little disappointed by the, the lumbar support on this one. Oh, you know, <laughs> you know when you spray an antihistamine in your nose and you're like, oh, I'm like disoriented. Um, rat dog, have a good one and ha have a great, uh, I think you said quiz. Did I see quiz or something? Yes. No, it's not Herman Miller. And the one that I'm looking at actually isn't Herman Miller either. I, um, I despise. A good chair is paramount for a streamer. It's like a bed. Like I always tell people, like I spend like upwards, the days like today where I stream and I'm recording, I can sometimes spend upwards of like 12 hours sitting in the seat. So I need like a good chair. And Lindsley, Lindsley, thank you for the gifted sub. What? Are you not working for once? Oh, Darpass, yeah. Zero, you got a lot of bang for your buck. <laughs> um, and I heavy with the reset for 22 months in a row as well. Heavy, thank you so much for the continual support. We've talked about this before. Herman Miller, so Anna had a Herman Miller chair. I did sit in it and I thought it was fabulous. But uh, I'm one of those annoying people that wants their chair to also look aesthetically pleasing too. And I love the look of leather. Like, even if it's like a faux leather, I just love the look of it. And on top of that, Herman Miller is what my old company used to give us. And I hated that chair. I hate that chair with every fiber in my being. Um, mostly because it reminds me of my old job. So <laughs> sounding like uncle from RDR2. <laughs> reminds me I need to spray some antihistamine into my nose. I always do this. I always wait to spray it till I'm about to stream with you guys. Anon, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Atinia, 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 um, as well. I love my Herman Miller and body. That's the one that she had, and I sat in it, and I loved it. I loved it, Stevo. I wish they had better, like, colorways. You know what I mean? Um, I totally have the one... Uh, wait, wait, I totally have been the one shilling for Interstellar. Wait, wait, the one shilling for movie night since... Wait, 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 wait. So you guys are welcome for getting Maggie hyped about it. Wait, I think somebody, was it you that had brought it up? I remember we were talking about this. Yeah, I hate anything that reminds me of work. That's, yeah. Chris, by the way, welcome in. Um, don't tell Anna I said that. Well, I think it's just because they have it. The wretched lumb lumbago. The wretched lumbago. Ven. Ven with 10 more gifted subs to the channel and community. Oh, I forgot that my alerts are on. Okay, so I need to remember to turn this off during this as well. All right, I'm turning off alerts. You guys are gonna behave yourself because you know my emotions are running wild today. Um, then she's not AFK yet. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Skywalker. And okay, human scale freedom. I'll have to look at human scale. I'm looking at this other company right now and I really like their, I know this sounds, maybe I'm getting older or being dramatic, but I also love supporting, well, obviously I like supporting brands that I believe in, but I love looking at their mission statements and I like seeing where companies started, um, especially when it comes to office. There's so many different office like supplies out there. That's kind of why I picked the keyboard I liked because I wanted this like classy, I'm looking for like, I want my whole feel when I walk into my stream room to like feel like he would strike up a cigar and just enjoy like kick back. I wanted to smell like old leather. You know what I mean? Like, maybe that's goofy. I either want it to be that or to look like a hobbit hole. Um, Guerrero, thank you for the follow and Anon with the gifted sub to Froggy Boy as well. Froggy Boy, I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes. True streamers sit on a folding chair and like I get the worst back pain ever. Uh, War, I appreciate it. I paid my vacation since Sunday. You've been on vacation since Sunday. You're going to a concert Saturday? That's incredible. I had a posture check and then I had a know you posture check, so I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with my body. But it would be abnormal for it, for us to behave. That is true. It, yeah, that is true. Even in emotional times like this, I, how could I have expected you guys to behave? 
Neve's heavy, arm sweaty. <laughs> I also see Garol. Hey, just came from your YouTube channel. Please don't miss the side quest in FF16. Oh boy, are you, you guys are in for a real treat. Um, first of all, thank you for the follow. Thank you for popping over from YouTube. And I know I'm going to be kind of dragging my feet today on the gameplay because I think I'm just going to goof around with you guys for a little bit because I need this. Um, but I am so far into FF16. I'm afraid that tips... I don't think tips are ever wasted, but I feel like you guys are going to be commenting on things in episode one and I'm already in episode 10, you know, like I'm so far ahead of you guys before you guys even see FF16 because I've been enjoying it that much. And I can promise you I've been doing every little thing that I can find, um, at least organically. I'm never going to look anything up, but organically I've been doing it. We always behave. That's why my name is Best Behaved Wolf. Oh, you heard it here, Bear. You got to change your name to Best Behaved Bear, too. We gamble our points away today, or should we? Should we go gamble? Wait, they did so Wait! Wait. Oh, I feel like in Fable. Wait. Follow. Wait. Y'all, what are we doing? They said at the end of the last stream, well, we do need to go into the codex, but they said at the last stream that we need to go to the flux, the flux capacitor, the flux. We need to have a back to the future movie night. All three, back to back. Uh, did you behave in FF? I like to think so. We're gonna codex and chill just for the beginning of this stream. Yeah, I love that. We did do Vermeer, Vermeer. We did Vermeer. Yeah. My goodness, yes. Christopher Lloyd is a god. Wait, why is this not? Why am I not? Oh, oh, wait, wait. Is that? I'm sorry. That is a uh, Doc, right? Isn't Christopher Lloyd Doc? I'm so bad with names. Yeah, back to the back to the back to the future. Yes, I did not kill Rex. That is true. You've never seen them, stupid? They're in fantastic. And also Wolfie. Yes, he's Doc. Um, Wolfie, thank you for the follow. Speaking of side missions, are you finally getting back to the moon today? Am I finally getting back to the moon today? The moon here? Oh, you're talking about in this game? It is flannel season. I just bought three flannels from Target and they were not that expensive. This bad boy was 20 bucks. Amazing. I'm just always, I want to have an entire closet of flannels. There needs to be an open world. BTTF game? Why am I not tracking this? And Dark Hero, welcome in. Oh, Back to the Future? Actually, there is there a Back to the Future game? I need a new flannel. I need a hero. <laughs> Uh, Earth, Moon, Luna. Yes. Yeah, we could go back to Luna today. But we do need to listen up to the codex. But there was something I was going to tell you guys. There is one on Nintendo? Ice Quaka. I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes. Boobamon. I'm calling chat stupid now. <laughs> Me insulting chat? Never. Wasn't there for any... Uh, I did not have a SNES. No. I started with N64 and then went to Xbox and then worked my way through the Xboxes. My parents only let us have one uh, system at a time. Thanks for the quick responses. Grim, what's up? Welcome back in, by the way. There's Back to the Future Telltale. What? Okay, I did not know this. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Um, Absolutely. Never sell your N64. We still have ours. We do still have that. Till the end of the night. Uh, we're talking about HR. Look, I will tell you guys, there is one moment that I was not following along with HR compliance in FF16. Let's just say I really appreciate the protagonist in this, okay? I really appreciate the protagonist. All right, let's go to non-sapien. Varen, Varen are omnivores with a preference for living prey. All right, story time. Originally story time. The Krogan home world of Tuchanka. They are like most life from Tuchanka. Tuchanka. Planish and consummate survivors. They are pack hunters when vulnerable prey is readily available and become scavengers when outnumbered or outclassed. Their supreme oh. adaptability, vicious demeanor, and rapid breeding cycle oh. have made them ubiquitous and dangerous pests on many worlds. I love his voice Virtually so much. everywhere the Krogan have been, Varan infestations have followed, wreaking havoc with the native ecology. The Krogan have had a love-hate relationship with Varan for oh. millennia, alternately fighting them for territory and embracing them I as I want to see Rex go in a fight with him. To this day, Krogan raised them as beasts of war. 
One of the common subgenus of Varan has metallic silver scales, leading to the rather unusual nickname Fish, Fish Dogs. dogs. Also, Anon with the gifted sub Dakari Cloud HR compliance training. <laughs> now, why am I getting military flashbacks? Oh, Dodo, welcome in. And Anon, thank you for the gifted sub to Brown Knight. The narrator kind of sounds like the voice from the agency guy. Also, I saw somebody said it's all fun and games wearing flannels until a Scottish guy comes up to you and says, what, <laughs> what tartan is that? <laughs> my dad always does that. That's my dad. I am not a fish dog. <laughs> Judge, thank you so much for the reset for nine months in a row and welcome back in as well. I am not a rat dog. <laughs> and Bimba, thank you for the follow. Dodo says I need a break from Baldur's Gate 3. I feel... I, I think if there were any a game I felt FOMO for, it'd be Baldur's Gate 3. Also because I am getting an increasing desire to like dip my toes into D&D. &D. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look into that this week. All the flannels you may get. Oh, if I visit Falky, imagine all of the flannels I could get. What tartan is that? Ah, uh, yes, I believe this is the red kind. Mm. Drash, welcome back in. Yeah, Cerulo, we were talking about this last time. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to join like an in-person D&D group. I just really wanna, I wanna join like a group that would play board games and everything like near me. A lot of times I just wait for my family get togethers and none of my friends like board games that much. They like like Cards Against Humanity, but you know what I mean? The game is great. Everyone should get into it. The Baldur's Gate 3. The Scots get upset if you wear what? Never ask. I've never... <laughs> remember when I took... Remember? <laughs> remember how I took that Disney sponsorship and somehow for 30 minutes I was talking about my dad wearing a kilt? And how people always ask, does he wear it like a true Scott? And I'm sitting, I'm sitting in my head thinking back. Holy cow, like, why am I talking about this before a Disney sponsorship? <laughs> Lord, what's up? Welcome back in. In person, d d is the best. You got to try it. I feel like I do want to, like, learn it in person and then bring it to you guys. Like, then do, like, a DVD or d d night if we can possibly do that. Disney watching the chat right now. <laughs> Imagine them like probably never wanting to work with me again because I talked about what's under a man's kilt and my father's nonetheless. <laughs> Jess, Jess, what's up? Welcome back. Wait, I thought you were streaming. Did you stop streaming? Flying over to play D&D &D with you right now. Well, I mean, if I come to see you this year anyway, it will happen. Also, Weenie Hut Senior, welcome back in. Hope you play Baldur's Gate if you get into D&D. &D. I think that there's definitely a likelihood in the future that I will try to get into it. Um, I definitely, in the short term, want to get into D&D. &D. Baldur's Gate probably would be something that I take on in the upcoming years. But I still need to join a Warhammer group. Want to paint little soldiers. That's kind of what I'm at or where I'm at with games is, I don't know about pointing or painting like the very little soldiers, but I think what I'm going to do is like the BD1. So you guys officially voted on Instagram and then also kind of in real time here. But I'm going to be making my own design for BD. But I think each game that I play, I'm going to try to get some kind of like 3D printed model on Etsy and then paint each figure for a game that I play and then have a little little compartment of them. But I don't know. I miss painting things. And also Rob, thank you for the follow. And Mogul, thank you so much for the prime sub. And I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel and community as well. Purple, I don't know, we were talking about Magic the Gathering and everybody was like, if you value your money at all, you will not, you will not get into Magic the Gathering. Beat ups. <laughs> Belong to a group with a, wait, wait, with a library over 2K board games. Oh my goodness. I just want to find some friends. Like I want to find a group in person that just wants to do like, Catan nights or Gwent nights, you know? She streamed earlier than usual. Wait, what's going on? Did you have something? And Smokey Joe, welcome back in. Yeah, I don't, I'm sure playing D&D &D over like, is it, do you play it on tabletop games or what would you play it on online? Absolutely nothing is underneath. Okay, well, I don't want to think about that. It's hard to find a group for board games because people have different ways of playing them. Also, you have to find people that, yeah, are willing to accept a newcomer but also match your play style like i care a lot about games i get incredibly competitive but at the same time i also just want to sit back and have fun like i've told you guys about how 
my mom will play board games with us, but my brother hates it because she doesn't care that much. And he's like, but if you're not strategically playing with all of your might and your brain energy, then your decisions or lack thereof are impacting our decisions. And it gets violent. It gets incredibly violent. And also Mogul, just thank you so much for the support. And I hope you enjoy the sub. Um, and Xaver, thank you for the 13 months of continual support as well. There's so many RPGs out that there's way that are way cooler than D&D, &D, but the eternal problem is finding someone to run a game. Uh, I feel like are there a ton of dungeon masters out there in the first place? The MTG starter kits are inexpensive. Well, it sounds like I have a Lord of the Rings one on the way. So I think at a minimum, I'm going to get the Lord of the Rings pack and then we'll see from there. Ah, uh, OK, that makes sense, right? Thank you. You'll dip your toes into the completely type of gameplay, of course. Tactical turn-based combat is very different from action combat that I normally do. Absolutely, but this kind of goes into every single year that I continue to, like, do this. I want to challenge myself with trying different games, too. My friends and I have played D&D &D over Discord, and it works fine without any special websites. Really? I mean, I can't imagine it wouldn't. What is the most important thing? Like, the... Well, how would you do it? Does everybody share their screen? Or, like, what do you... Like, how do you... How does it work? <laughs> it is intense. A new board game cafe opens this weekend. That's really cool. And also Envy, welcome in. I know, sorry, we're just talking. Um, not Raisin Brand, what's up? Welcome in, by the way. Yeah, I think this year I challenged myself with Final Fantasy Combat. So next year I'm kind of looking into like a CRPG or something. Metro Raptor, welcome back in. And also, I rarely catch your stream, but I like to watch your YouTube a lot. Oh, thank you so much. And I'm just glad to see that you like both sides of the content. Are, do you watch the Archive channel or the the Let's Play channel? If you get your feet in the water with MTG, you could start on Arena. It's free play, free to play with plenty of rewards. Of course, meta decking will likely cost you something. What is meta decking? The hardest part about running my D&D &D campaign is literally just lining schedules up. I feel like that's what a lot of people say, is just the difficulty of lining things up. Absolutely. The combat is very, very overwhelming. But I think a lot of people told me that about Final Fantasy as well, that like the combat was going to be a lot at first, but then you get used to it. I feel like it's surprising how much you can quickly acclimate to different play styles. Um, mostly because I feel like my brain, if my brain was like locked in, I'm only playing RPGs, then of course I think it'd be harder for me to try different styles. Um, but I tend to be incredibly open-minded when it comes to that. Overzealous, I'm glad you're enjoying it. And also don't forget there's an extra upload tomorrow. So there's three, three uploads in a row. And Boobamon, thank you so much for the donation as well. Thank you. All right, let's listen to the next thing. So we have humanity and system alliances. Ooh, wait, 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 technology. Let's do technology. Biotics Hold on. An artificial intelligence is Did we not a listen to this one? Computing system I think we listened to this one. I think we're at element zero. When subjected to an electrical current, yeah. a rare material dubbed element zero, or ESO, emits a dark energy field that raises or lowers the mass of all objects within it. This mass effect is used in countless mass effects. Ways from generating artificial gravity to manufacturing high-strength construction materials. This guy narrates my funeral. It is most prominently used to enable faster-than-light space travel. ESO is generated when solid matter, such as a planet, is affected by the energy of a star going oh. supernova. The material is common in the asteroid debris that orbits neutron stars and pulsars. These are dangerous places to mine, requiring extensive use of robotics, telepresence, and shielding to survive the incredible radiation from the dead star. Only a few major corporations can afford the setup costs required to work these primary sources. Humanity discovered refined element zero at the Prothean Research Station on Mars, allowing them to create mass effect fields and develop FTL travel. Mm. I was gonna say, how often does a star go supernova? Speaking of games, have we made a horror Dark Mario? What? Also, Metro, thank you. Speaking of, I do want to bring this up with you guys real quick. Um, Metro said, nice mug. I am in the works of trying to get this for you guys. 
like trying to make it part of the merch. So stand by, it's like very early process, but I've heard you guys and I feel like if there's only one thing, yeah, it would be worldwide. If there is only one thing I could bring to you guys as merch, this would be it. And it would say casticlism on the inside. So I'm working on it. I'm just having, it's like a whole thing, but I don't know if it's like for certain, but I just want to let you guys know it's early talks of that happening. It takes billions of years for a star to go supernova. So I feel like this wouldn't be when solid matter such as a planet is affected by the energy of a star going supernova. So how often would that happen? The flannel, I know, I know. Well, the pro so the problem is, is like, I can do these specialized things. Like I could do overalls or I could do flannels, but I have to buy a bunch in bulk. And that's just like the problem is I have to kind of like pick and choose with that. But yeah, doing flannels, if I could have like the cow mug, the flannel and the overalls, I, my life would be complete. Apparently supernova, let me see. Apparently supernovas and galaxies are similar to ours. So it's around two to three times per century. So this stuff is super rare then, right? To have this energy, like this substance. How often do stars go supernova? Rarely, but often enough to consider the size of the universe. Well, that's true, yeah. Like when you all encompass it. Ray, by the way, welcome in. Um, sun is, sun is, da, 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 da. okay, I saw that. How often does the star go supernova? Okay, every other day. Wait, actually, every other day? To us, it wouldn't be a lot, but with how many stars there are, it would happen a lot. I see. I'll pre-order in advance. All right, I will look into also the flannels. I'm gonna do one thing at a time and we're gonna start with the the cow mug, but I will definitely look into it. I never considered it until I was like, nope, I want this to be the thing that I get you guys. The cast of Bella and the sweatshirt from Halloween is my favorite thing in my closet. I'm bringing back some of the Halloween designs, including a, a new and upgraded version of the Luke Goblin. But Jules, I really appreciate that. And I hope you're doing well. You need a supernova to create a new star system. Oh. But then wouldn't that, wait, you need it to create a new star system, but that doesn't mean that a new star system is being created when a supernova occurs. Rare for one system, but tons of stars in the universe. Yeah, okay. All right, thank you guys, by the way. Time and space operate very differently, exactly. Supernovas play outer wilds. I did just add that to my list. We get supernovas roughly of once per 50 years in our galaxy. Ash, by the way, hi. I need ginger in a flannel. <laughs> I don't think I can deliver ginger with each purchase, but <laughs> um, I'll like individually put a single ginger hair on each piece. Um, that's why I can't do like send Bio? stuff from my place because otherwise we'd be covered in ginger hair. Okay, it said Omni tool. Omni tools are handheld devices that combine a computer microframe, sensor analysis pack, Haven't we heard this one? And many it was Mass Effect Element Fields. Zero can increase or decrease the mass of a volume of space-time when subjected to an electrical current. With a positive current, oh, yeah, mass I need is them in English. With a negative current, mass is decreased. The stronger the current, the greater the magnitude of the dark energy mass effect. In space, low mass fields allow FTL travel and inexpensive surface to orbit transit. That's so High cool. mass fields create artificial gravity and push space debris away from vessels. In manufacturing, <laughs> low mass fields permit the creation of evenly blended alloys, while high mass compaction creates dense, sturdy construction materials. Mm. The military makes extensive use of mobility enhancing technologies. With Mass Effect utilizing fighting vehicles standard frontline issue in most military forces. Mass Effect fields are also essential in the creation of, times that they of say Mass Effect barriers in this. or shields to protect against enemy fire. And ginger hair in each one, you spoil Bio. us. <laughs> All right, ships and then humanity, and we can do some secondary. Uh, but the secondary ones I have to read, and also not, not. Thank you for the follow and welcome in. I feel like we're in science class again. I love doing this and exploring the galaxy as well. A supernova is powerful and luminous explosion of a star. Supernova occurs using, wait, wait, during the last evolutionary stages of a massive star. How long is the life expectancy of a star? Or does that vary depending on the size? And like, oh no, oh no, I have so many questions. I'm gonna go to a science museum. Without a supernova, we would not have any heavy metals. E.g. gold is produced for, by exploding stars. Wow, star puberty, billions of years. But does it actually depend? And also, Furch, have a good one. Thanks for hanging around. Does it actually depend on how, like, large or, like, the scale of the star? 
equals MC squared. <laughs> oh, I wish I could do ginger. I technically could do ginger plushies. All of the like custom stuff that I could do is fine. I just have to like buy it in mass quantities. Mildly alcoholic. Hi. I think it depends on how large it starts. Varies depending on mass and a few other factors. Our sun is expected to live for four to five billion years. Oh. Stars puberty. Does the star's voice get deeper? Wow. <laughs> Shadow. Oh, there are a ton of variabilities among stars. I mean, I guess so, yeah, because when you look up. But also for us, like, the size of a star to us is just based off of the distance, right? Ships and vehicles. Faster than Sovereign. Oh, Sovereign space is the flagship combat and of the rogue Spectre Saren. So cool. An enormous dreadnought larger than any other ship <laughs> in any known fleet. It is crewed with both Geth and Krogan. At two kilometers long, its spinal mounted main gun is likely capable of penetrating spinal another mounted. dreadnought's kinetic barriers with a single shot. How Saren acquired this incredible warship is unknown. The prevailing opinion is that Sovereign is a Geth construct while others believe it is a Prothean relic. Its design, however, hints at a more alien and mm -hmm. mysterious origin. Mm -hmm. The attack on Eden Prime demonstrated Sovereign's ability to generate mass effect fields powerful enough to land on a planetary surface. This implies it has a massive element zero core and the ability to generate staggering amounts of power. Element zero core, which is what we actually just learned about, so it's perfect. Brightness and distance, more massive stars tend to be brighter. Oh, okay, the larger the star, the brighter it is, typically. You have a few billion years before you finish this game, so you better hurry up. Okay. <laughs> supernovas are dependent on the mass of the star to begin with, but typically you'll only get regular novas, not supernovas. Uh, it's a super complicated thing, so we should, <laughs> we could chat on this for hours. No, I find this fascinating and a lot of it has to do with the fact that like growing up i just wasn't drawn to science as much as i was drawn to i actually weirdly liked math but history and math were more of my favorites um i despise science but now that i've gotten older i actually love i love learning about it more you know and also dodo and mossy guys thank you for the follow dodo i'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel and texan welcome back in the most important thing to know about space is sir isaac newton is the deadliest son of a bitch <laughs> Damn. Also, somebody said that, Cassie, you'll be a grandma when you get to all the games on your list. I don't know. Like, once we get through, think about this. Once we get through all the large games, or I can have a year of getting through all the small games, you know? Like, I've been picking some large games for YouTube, but what if I just did a bunch of smaller games? We would get through a ton. Yeah. Do you say, what? I read that as Beetlejuice goes supernova. <laughs> that is not true, Chalk. Hi. Also, Zomonia, welcome in. Mantra. Massive stars, when their core collapses, can form a black hole. Math, I know. It was weird. Also, Anon, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Mantra as well. Um, right before Maggie starts to play Halo, the world will blow up. I mean, that's supposed to be in five years. So that's not good. When stars no longer are able to sustain fusion. Roan, by the way, thank you. At this point, the energy of the star is no longer enough to continue fusion, at which point it struggles between the gravity of the star trying to pull the matter in and radiation pushing against this. Interesting. Also, Proletariat, thank you so much and welcome back in. And Anon with the gifted sub to Proletariat as well. When I was in college, I took this class called Big Bang Black Holes No Math. It was amazing stuff. Wait, that was actually the title of it? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> um own welcome in and also c8 if if you're looking for what happened i put it on discord um or talked about it briefly at the beginning of the stream but i'm kind of trying to leave it at that um aj and ag guys should have been an engineer impressed that you're good at mental calculation <laughs> um i said i used to like math it doesn't mean that i'm good at it you can like something and not be good at it let's be honest here Wemo, welcome back in as well the spinal mount is a slang term that implies the gun is bound to the ship's spine, aka keel. Ah, which is what makes it go, yeah. Which you see that a lot, I feel like, in superhero movies. You know? Good science-y science podcast is Lex Friedman. I'll have to look this up. I love podcasts. That's how I've been doing a lot lately. That's how I feel about watching One Piece. It's a lot of episodes, but then that's like 30 smaller animes that I could have watched too. That's me with games. I've been doing a lot of long games for YouTube, but I also consider, I don't know, maybe not. Cause like, think about layers of fear. That's gonna end up being 10 episodes. 
And then at the same time, it took me 30 something episodes to do God of War. Anon, thank you for the gifted sub to Japer and Erdy with the gifted sub. <laughs> You're trying to be cheeky and it's working. To Metal Gear Solid 5 Snake. I just got done watching the last VOD and I had a feeling after the last part you'd be pretty into Emmy if you weren't already. Oh, Tool Fool, yes. Also, I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you're doing well. Love is never having to say you're a sorry. <laughs> okay, when we talk about love and a sorry, it hits too close to home right now. I'm gonna reject her, by the way. I'm going with a no romance run. And Tom Tom high as well. All right, let's listen to Space Combat and Vehicles and then we'll hit up Humanity and Systems and then we'll continue. Um, how do you decide between which games are YouTube versus Twitch? I wish there was a method to my madness. There's not really. Um, it typically comes down to like how much of the story is like if it's constantly and pretty linear and it's very heavy with the story, that's usually going to be YouTube. Um, I'm actually really glad I'm doing Final Fantasy on YouTube as well, because obviously you can tell if I'm streaming, we're doing a lot of conversation between. So this game, while it is very good with story, there's a lot of downtime and there's a lot of shooting and time to move through certain segments. So I feel like this is a great stream game. It also depends on kind of like if it's tied to something. So like, for example, I played the first Star Wars on stream. So I'm gonna play the second one on stream. I started with Final Fantasy on YouTube, so I'm always gonna do FF for YouTube. I kind of try to like stick to whatever I started on with those two. Once again, Maggie hates love. This is not true. Aries with the 100 bits and Anon with the gifted sub to Yakes. Bear with the gifted sub to Heartbreaker. Uh, has anybody seen a roman like romanceless run? Like honestly, I feel like it'd be kind of interesting. Plays Returnal, good luck, it never ends. Oh, is that the game that Anna was hating? Arneso, by the way, welcome back. <laughs> Games with lots of downtime between story is great for streaming, absolutely. Absolutely, Kevin, oh my goodness. I double the HR violations if I do that. Outer Wilds, I think, would be on YouTube, I'm pretty sure. One of these days, I'll figure out how to hop into the Discord. I type slower than I'd like, and there's a lot of chaos at the moment, so it'd be nice to be able to slow down and explain some things. Absolutely. Yeah, if one of my mods want to drop the link, if you don't already have a Discord account, it should be pretty simple. Um, and I'm always, I always love having more practical information about what drives games, especially when there is so much um, science and factual stuff in this game, you know? So romance is, it's a possibility in other parts of the trilogy, but I think for this one, I don't love my choices. So I don't think I'm gonna go with anybody. No romance run, but it means purple, meaningless purple egg adventures are still on. Panda, welcome back in. I will approve the meaningless purple egg adventures, yes. And also thank you for the gift of Skywalker. Ship mobility dominates space combat. Look the at that massive objective is to what? align the mass accelerator along the bow with the opposing vessel's broadside. Battles typically play out as artillery duels, fought at ranges measured in thousands of kilometers. Though assaults through defended mass relays often occur at knife fight ranges, knife as fight. close as a few dozen kilometers. Most ship-to-ship -ship engagements are skirmishes between patrol vessels of cruiser weight and below, Aww. with dreadnoughts and carriers only deployed in full-scale fleet actions. I hope we get to see this Battles in open space when we enter are short into and the fight with Saren. As the weaker opponent typically disengages, once a ship enters FTL flight, the combat is effectively over. Oh, is it? There are no sensors capable of tracking them or weapons capable of damaging them. The only way to guarantee an enemy will stand and fight is to attack a location they have a vested interest in, such as a settled world or a strategically important mass, mass relay. relay. That's really cool. Um, it's funny because looking back when I played Battlefront, I always avoided the space battles, hated the space battles, did not want to be a part of them, left that one for my brothers. I was out. Roth, by the way. No, and this is, I don't know where this came from. I think also my choices, I know where it comes from. I'm not avoiding love in video games. I just, if I'm put in an apocalyptic situation or something like that, I'm focusing on survival. I'm not focusing on romance. We're trying to save the world from Saren. I'm not focused on romance. I'm focused on the mission. I'm ruthless. I will do whatever it takes to get the mission done, you know? You know? You have to put your heart out there in video games. Oh my goodness. Do you know how much I got? I uh, 
This is like Walking Dead season three all over again. I've never seen so many people despise my choices. Was the ship you saw towards towards the beginning of the game? Ruthless Paragon. <laughs> I know it kind of contradicts itself, doesn't it? This is the ship you saw towards the start of ME1 approaching the Citadel. That's right. That's right. Um, Japer, what if you needed romance in order to save the world? Well, but then that's different. There's plenty of time between traveling from planet to planet for also cast a last stream. Uh, fair, simply business. We've talked about this. You don't, what was it? You don't shit where you eat? <laughs> the lady doth protest too much, methinks. <laughs> Ernie, <laughs> with the 400 bits. All I'm hearing is excuses. Also, to be fair, nobody wants Gabe with Clem. Wait, that was an option? Was Gabe with Clem? What? The Mako Infantry Fighting Vehicle was designed for the System Alliance's frigates. Though the interior is cramped, an M35 is small enough to be carried in the cargo bay and easily deployed on virtually any world. With its turreted 155 millimeter mass Mako. accelerator and coaxially mounted machine gun, I love that word, Mako coaxially. can provide a fire team with weapons support as well as mobility. Since Alliance Marines may be required to fight on any world, the Mako is environmentally sealed and equipped with micro thrusters for use on Commonly low gravity flipped. planetoids. The Mako is powered by a sealed hydrogen oxygen fuel cell and includes a small element zero core. While not large enough to nullify the vehicle's mass, the core can reduce it enough to be safely airdropped. When used in Lies. conjunction with thrusters, it also Lies. allows the Mako to extricate itself from difficult terrain. Lies. All of this is lies. Uh, I never tried to ship Clem and Gabe together. Absolutely not. Everybody was mad at me for not shipping the, the, the guy with the girl. The guy with the girl together. Sonia, hello. Wait, Sonia said it out. Sonia, have a good one. Thank you so much for hanging around. Um, and just thank you for the kind words. I know I, I missed saying hi to you at the very beginning, but thank you for being here. How dare you be focused on other people's problems and not your own lust. <laughs> not your own lust. But sometimes what you are fighting for is the love of someone. I don't think we've played any downright romantic games, have we? Perspectives are kind of absurd when the space combat happens, but they do pretty cinematic series shots in this game specifically. I never played the, the fighter Star Wars games. I think I played the pod racing. I vaguely remember pod racing. Hold up, Yake said, I'm from Sweden and I'm going to New York City tomorrow. Any tips on what to eat? <gasps> well, first of all, the pizza, but do they have Chick-fil-A in, guys, do they have Chick-fil-A in New York City? Because if they have a Chick-fil-A, 10 out of 10 recommend. 10 out of 10. Oh, and Taco Bell, and Taco Bell. I would not be me if I didn't say try Taco Bell. Vorts, welcome back in, by the way. The otters on the mug give me anxiety. I would end up breaking one of them all. <laughs> this guy I've had for a while and he is breaking down, but I'm so happy if it, this actually happens and I can make this something y'all can buy, I'll be so happy. Pod racing, now that's pod racing. Yes, Core, please repost, but give me one second. Let me get into humanity first. The home world first contact war. first contact with an alien race occurred in 2157. At that time, the Alliance allowed survey fleets to activate any dormant mass relays discovered. Dormant. A practice considered dangerous and irresponsible by Council-aligned races. When a Turian patrol discovered a human fleet attempting to activate a relay, they oh. attacked. One human vessel survived, retreating to the colony of Shanxi. Her, fa her grandfather. The Turians followed, quickly defeating the local forces. Shanxi was occupied. The first and to date Shanshi. only human world to be conquered by an alien species. The Torians believed the handful of ships they defeated represented the bulk of human defenses. So they were unprepared when the second fleet, under Admiral yep. Castany Drescher, launched a strong counteroffensive, evicting them from Shanxi. Oh, they did get the them Turians out. The mobilized for full scale war, drawing the attention of the rest of the galaxy. The, the council, council quickly intervened, intervened, forcing a truce. Fortunately for humanity, the first contact war was ended with a diplomatic solution. Fortunately, do you think the humans or the Turians would have won? I feel like the Turians would have won, but I don't know their numbers. That's hard to know without knowing their numbers. 
and warrior thank you so much for the reset for two months in a row and overzealous with two gifted subs or three three gifted subs to the channel and community four total one off and then three other ones thank you so much I'll never be able to recommend chick-fil-a yeah it is true um their chicken i will say there's a great debate amongst people for the chicken um what has the best fried chicken sandwich right and isn't it popeyes is it popeyes versus kfc i don't think kfc is in the running though i don't think kfc is even in it it's weird how american recommendations are always what i consider fast food absolutely um but i think it's because a lot of fast food isn't available well yeah a lot of fast food isn't available to other countries uh i wouldn't say that necessarily but i know like certain ones aren't Everything's getting so expensive these days that it costs the same for me to go to Chick-fil-A or Taco Bell as to go to Texas Roadhouse, like straight up. Uh, goes to New York, buys Taco Bell, <laughs> joins the order of the fl Okay, Wayfair. <laughs> You're not wrong, but damn. Warrior, thank you so much for the gifted sub as well to Tad. Thank you. Torians would have destroyed the humans. You think so? Easy, no question. They're your favorite in Mass Effect. Also, we're about to continue on. Mm, you can get the Chick-fil-A sauce at Publix. I think there's a few other places as well. Same with Taco Bell. Taco Bell, you can get their sauce. The humans have a strong feet, but the Turians have the largest military. They are the military power, right? I need to go back through our... Yes, I do. It took the council... You're surprised it took the council so long to intervene? Are we surprised? <laughs> like, let's ask ourselves this real quick. Are we? You were romanced with Leiliana and Mor Morgan at the same time? Wait, in, in what thing? I'm not familiar with that. And also, interesting fact about dark energy released by Izo. Obviously isn't real. As with all the explosions, the universe itself has slowly slowed its rate of expansion since the explosion or explosive start. But five billion years ago, it picked up speed and started accelerating the expansion. The growth has kept going faster and faster ever since. Nobody knows why it's doing that, but the mysterious force that's causing it to be dubbed dark energy. It sounds very uh, malicious when you throw dark energy into there. Yeah, I call it Chicky Chicky Lele. KFC is awesome. Chick-fil-A, Popeyes. D oh, was it Raising Cane's chicken? I think I tried the Popeyes one and it was pretty good because they have a good spicy sauce on it. Mm-hmm. The Turians are far more advanced than human technology. I feel like we don't have too much to bring to the fight, but we still... We do have gambling to bring to the fight. Shepard's so cool that she can hold that pose for forever. I kind of feel like I look like Spider-Man just because of the, the way that the... I guess the pattern is on the more, I know it's pink, but it's coming across like Spider-Man red in this area. I know. We have a trigger happy <laughs> I always do this whenever I time back in. I know. I'm Well, I think for me, my instinct to recommend like fast food in New York City is because while I've been, I don't have any personal food recommendations. It'd be much better for a native or somebody who grew up or stayed there for a little bit to recommend stuff. I can't think of a single restaurant in New York City, maybe like Hard Rock Cafe. But that still feels kind of like touristy. KFC changed the recipe too often. I wonder what the original chicken tasted like. That is a good point. Um, all right, y'all. So we are in Race Against Time. We need to meet with Anderson, who's waiting in flux. The flux capacitor. Uh, but I don't know. Do you think I should do some more side missions before we go to flux? Nando's. I, I still have not gotten the opportunity to try this wonderful place everybody talks about. Local mom and pop shop in New York City. Yeah, with pizza. Chinese food and pizza. Oh, I can't imagine the Chinese food, actually. Oh. Where's the best place to get pizza though? Hot dog and cheesecake. New York cheesecake. I guess that is a big thing, isn't it? And Snicker, thank you so much for the reset for six whole years. Yeah. <laughs> Snicker, thank you so much for seven months of continual support, truly. You cannot do side missions right now. You're grounded. I forgot about that. But there could be some within the Citadel, like planting a bug. So let's do this one. We need to go to traffic control center near the back of CSEC. Okay. Easy peasy. New York strip steak. Uh, in a further development in the Eden Prime Scar's investigation, pizza. the council has reportedly revoked the Spectre status of one of its operatives. This is While headline news right now? While the has not yet been apprehended, a council spokesman confirmed that corrective actions had been taken. Wow. 
blasting my business to the entire citadel. Filthy Megatron hive, by the way, and Frost Wolf. Brooklyn has some good coal oven pizza. I love brick oven pizza. But I guess that's different than coal oven pizza. I don't know if I've tried coal oven pizza. Luger's is... Wait, wait. What is Luger's? Overrated steakhouse. C-sect. Back is C-sect. This might be traffic. Oh. Wait a minute. Hold on. They mean Saren, not you. No, but they did speak about me being grounded. I think they... Sp oh, it is Saren, not you? But they said he was grounded. He's grounded, too. Okay. I think I'm in... This area that I'm in right now is C-sec, right? I should get a better... I feel like there needs to be an easier map layout for this. I think I'm in C-sec, right? So therefore... The revoked specter. Okay. Here I am thinking it was all about me. <laughs> when asked for a comment, Shepard stated, I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do it. Mm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. I cannot believe that they have this in here. New discoveries and a the dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny stock rose sharply with the announcement. With oh, you can skip. Oh, you can skip his conversation. I don't think this is right, but. Mm, 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 mm. A couple more playthroughs and you'll have it down. <sighs> I do feel like it would take multiple playthroughs. This is not the right place. To see Academies. Damn it. All right, head back, head back, head back. I did do it. Steve, what's up? Welcome back in. You did it. We gotta get back up in here. Light of the recent attack the least Navidad Prime, remix, it's perfect. What is your favorite movie and why is it interstellar? Future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization <laughs> insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Dead. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. <gasps> okay, N7, I just want to make it very clear that when you said don't have the shits, just want to support multiple streams, I was sitting here and I was like, well, thanks for sharing. You don't have the shit. What? <laughs> Guys, sometimes I forget that my lurk message is has the Taco Bell shits and has to go. I forgot. <laughs> Thank you so much, N7, and I hope you have a great evening. The elevator used to be a loading screen, so now you can skip them. It gives you the option in case you want to listen to the stories. I do like the stories. All right, so this is Cisa. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not oversharing. <laughs> I'm sitting like, hmm. Okay, not the worst exit I've had from somebody here, but not the best. <laughs> you mean you don't want to know about my digestive habits? I mean, if you say you've had Taco Bell, I can only guess. The requisition officer. Yeah, you found the whole song on YouTube the other day. <laughs> it is divisive. And oh, it's like this is like a whole c debate on what's the best steakhouse. He said that I think it might be up here. Oi. Oh. Sir. OK, this is definitely CSEC Academies. So I think it's at the top up here. Now that I'm playing ME2 for the first time, I can honestly say there's huge improvement. Really? Bear with the gifted sub to Taco Bell shits. That wasn't one? I'm shocked you guys haven't had that already. Okay. Shh, guys. Shh. Can I place it anywhere? Guys, I'm doing a secret mission. Get out of here. You're gonna... Alright, done. Not suspicious at all, just a random specter making it, making my rounds to the traffic control center. It's probably the most famous of all. Food critic gave it a one star review. I feel like he just wanted to cause a little bit of chaos or she just wanted to mix it up a little bit. Behind you. <laughs> Wait, what? Megu, welcome back in. All right, so we did that. Let's go through the codex and see what else we have. I'm picky about my steaks, so I just make them myself. Oh, ho, ho, that's a good way to go about it. I mean, at least then you know that your disappointment or enjoyment is because of yourself. You just gave the kids a work tour. <laughs> Kit, welcome in. Have I ever beat Sekiro? I know you're into Souls games. <laughs> oh, please. Have I ever beat Sekiro? I played it when it first came out. I've done about, I think I've done two other 
I think I've done two other playthroughs on stream. I haven't finished two of them. Or I haven't finished one of them, but I also haven't finished my no level up run. My memoryless beadless run. But yes, I love Sekiro. It's one of my favorite combat systems in any of the Souls games. Which, by the way, guys, I know that this is going to come as a shock, and I don't think, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I really want to play Bloodborne again. Or just a quick DS3 run. Just zoom, zoom, zoom. Really want to do it. Maybe I'll just do, like, a YouTube recording of trying to, like, rush YouTube, or, um, DS3. Not, like, speed running, but just get through the game quickly. My friend used to constantly eat at a place called uh, Plain Russian Roulette with a Shotgun. That's a lot to fit on a neon sign. Feels intense. There used to- wait, wait, there was some- wait, wait. I'm- Bloodborne was good. I love Bloodborne. And I haven't finished DS2 or Demon Souls. Alright, thanks. Yeah, Triv is forever waiting for DS2 playthrough. So now whenever you complain about games, guys, when you think about waiting for games, Triv has supported me for just about all five years and has been waiting for a DS2 playthrough this entire time. So when in doubt, just remember, some people are still waiting for years for me to play a game. Lords of the Fallen? Is it Lords of the Fallen 2 or is it Lords of the Fallen? I didn't realize there was a second one. I want to play a game. A four-year-old game old? Who just called it old? I think a lot of people do think it's due for an upgrade though. Oh, it's not on a, it just needs an update to 60 FPS, right? Just get a good steak and season it with salt and paper. Salt and paper. <laughs> salt and pepper. <laughs> Deserves a one star. They've been coasting on their old reputation for a decade really andy interesting point you think that they're coasting off of their old success already with the gifted sub to kit as well kit i hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes longhorn had some good sides but texas roadhouse has my heart ds2 she must hate you triv triv does hate me triv got a rage quit already at least that is true i started and then i gave i gave up I started and I rage quit. To feel better, I think about the people I've ignored for way longer than you. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Just remember, somebody has it worse in here. It will get out in October 2023. Oh, like a remake game with improved mechanics and a bigger map. For Lords of the Fallen? Yeah, DS2, Dark Souls 2. Salt and paper and won't judge. Um, all right, guys, so we have unusual readings. I just want to make sure there's no other things that we have we can't do right now. So while in the Citadel, you uncovered an Alliance Patrol report. So we know that. Major Kyle. What else do I have to do for Conrad? I've already met Conrad. I gave him a picture. It doesn't make sense. What else? Do what do you want? <laughs> what do you want from me? Planting the bug. Now we need to go inform Emily. Emily is Citadel Tower. To the tower. Luguris used to be great, but it's overpriced and only take cash. Wait, it's a place that only takes cash? Cinnamon butter. Longhorn has the firecracker chicken wraps. I've never even tried that. Firecracker chicken wraps. Wait, yikes. We've been telling you this whole time. We've been recommending things this entire time. Here we go. Kyle the Major. I'm already getting readings. This is going to make a great story. I Thank like her outfit. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. It's a good cause. There's no problem. Yeah. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm mm. going to show this to my publisher. Her publisher? No, Yakes. Yeah, does anybody have some quick recommendations since Yakes popped back in? That's so exciting, by the way, and I hope you have safe travels and Tyrion welcome in. I believe I have. I've gone to every I've gone to every planet at this point. I do need to go back to Verm uh where is it? I need to go back to where the last mission was because there's probably some side stuff that we didn't pick up there, but yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Do they have a cheddar's in your stay? I think I've heard of cheddar's, but I've never been there. What kind of food is it? Hostile takeover. Um, investigate. Let's go to a system. Let's investigate a facility on another cluster. Missing engineers. This, that. Hmm. Food review suit? I feel like everything I would compare to Taco Bell. I mean, you guys saw the the picture or the the clip Anna posted where I tried escargot and I was like, it's not Taco Bell. Talk to the woman at the bar. Well, we're headed over to the woman at the bar. 
A woman at a bar. Mm, mirrored in the verm. <laughs> We're doing the vermeer. The vermin. Did you find all the keepers? Yes, we did, Maddie. We started last stream by finding all the keepers. Yes, we did. RST, thank you for the follow. And Ernie, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Conrad Werner. Um, Buffalo wings, Chinese pizza, Italian cheesecake. Also a hot dog. I feel like you have to just get a classic hot dog. Having an average check be well over 100 and you're cash only. That's that's what I'm... That's like going to Roos Chris and saying cash only, I feel like. Um, elevator leads down. Let's not do this. Hold on. We need to fast travel. And I think I can directly go to Flux now. Raising Canes. I still haven't tried. No, I did try it. I think I tried it when I was in Alaska and I just didn't love it. I felt like Raising Canes was all about the sauce. Like I couldn't eat it without having to use the sauce to make it great. Applebee's, but better. I love Applebee's. <laughs> uh, when I was like growing up, that was like a super special event for my parents to take all three of us kids to Applebee's. <laughs> Do not pass go. Go directly to Flux. I mean, we're gonna do something. We're gonna do something in Flux. I know. I always get hungry from stream. I don't know how we always talk about food. It's always the same food, but somehow it, the conversation feels different every time as well. What would make me feel better today? Hmm? I've got to go this way. Pardon me, soldier. Can I take a moment of your time? Elias, what? What? Best chicken is Hattie B's? What is Hattie B's? No, there hasn't been a floppy pickle. About foods? Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. Finally, they give somebody, like, arm hair, though. I feel like I'm so tired of seeing none of, like... How come the characters in FF16 have, like, stubble on facial hair, but they have no chest hair, no bodily hair besides their face? It doesn't make sense. Okay, I'm listening. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. Elias. I'm an alliance negotiator. We've got a wax. big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I get it. Cut the act. You're a pencil pusher. I understand. It's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. He wants me to get him it's Adderall? It's restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit and I need more from the med bay. What? The what? The laser hair removal? They're waxing, they're laser hair removing? Elias got the wandering eye. <laughs> hair is hard to do in games and 3D. It's expensive to do good hair. So for them, it's just easier to do like baby smooth. Like, these guys are out here making me feel hairy, okay? <laughs> like, what exactly is this stimulant? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that Choco sort of thing. Sam. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. Mm. Chocobo Sam. Yeah. Drug dosage. You know the monthly limits. Why'd you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Solarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. What's wrong with him? You should put some trust in your assistant. Yes. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Probably not going to help him. You're an addict. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. Yeah. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. Look at his All eyes. No, I don't trust it. Close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Don't be an idiot. I kind of want to say don't be an idiot. He's twitching for a brookie. Oh, man. Jeez. Wait, Herb. I didn't overdosing oh. on stimulants and getting arrested help humanity. I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to say that. Maybe you're I'm right. getting Oh no. I've been trying to keep humanity strong and maybe I I've pushed to. myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. No, you'll go now. 
You won't be doing humanity oh. any favors if you oh. overdose during negotiations. Get help now. Oh! You don't understand! Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulus. Without it, I'll... I... You need help. I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. You'll be okay. Get treatment, listen to yourself. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You have you're, to get treatment. You're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. Also, I'm assuming he sorry, picked his assistant, this. so if he had a disagreement with him. Renegade plus two. Harp, I was going to ask, um, did that help you learn to cook? Like, do you do a lot of your own cooking now? Like, with watching cooking videos for that long? And for... <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. Bear with the gifted sub. Don't do drugs, kids. Someone shit in on Aloy's, Aloy's hair in the Rising Games. And then I showed them Pixar's research on paper for the math that they had to do for curly hair. I always figured that doing hair in games is so difficult. And that's why, especially when it's also when you're factoring in movement and not even like just the movement of a body in general, but then also like wind or if they go outside or if they're running or stuff like that. I guess that is such a small part that people easily critique without thinking about how difficult it is to create that. Uh, feeling pretty good, y'all. Oh, hold up. Okay, we gotta up those renegade numbers so I can get 100% intimidation too. One more time, just one more time. I don't have a problem at all. Sergo, thank you for the follow, welcome in. That's the guy. I'm waiting for someone else. Okay, yeah, rejected again, that's fine. Okay guys, it'll just be a quick one. Just a quick one, just like, I don't know, just like, like five minutes, just five minutes. Okay, just give me this. With Keith David, AKA Captain Anderson, AKA the Arbiter, coming to Mass Effect. Wait, what? Coming to Mass Effect. I'm forced to ask the age old question. Halo when? Fuck, fuck, how are you? I already told Ryan. I told Ryan. I told Ryan. 10 year anniversary streaming. I will do a Halo playthrough. Lecturing the guy not to do drugs, then go straight to gambling. Guards, it's not a problem. I can fix it. Just one more. Just one more. All right, let's do this. Just one more hit. 17. Um, um, go for gold. Payout. Wait, this one's only 20 credits. Wait, this whole time, did I go to the highest betting ones? Oh, the high stakes. <gasps> Saget, outlaws her hair looks like plastic Lego hair piece. I hope they fix it. Oh no, Saget. I have, by the way, thank you for the follow and Ernie with the gifted sub. I don't have a problem. I'm fine, I can stop at any point. Okay, this is good, this is good. High stakes, high stakes. All right, going for gold. <gasps> That's luck, That's luck. Get out, get out, get out. Okay, we're 50 up, we're 50 up, we go again. Oh no, I'm negative, okay, I'm in the hole, I'm in the hole. Dark, thanks for the follow, welcome in. Uh, do this one. Pay out, pay out. All right, we're up 100, we're up 100. Leaves, leaves, welcome back in. The universe is about to get lost and we're gambling. They know what they did when they put this in here. Bear with the gifted sub to rehab. They try to make me go to rehab. I can do it, just one more, we can win this. I think I can get eight. I feel like I'm gonna get eight. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. Well, I don't know, I feel like pay out 100 credits. I would be even, I would lose all my gains. We're all, <laughs> it's working. All the chips, welcome back in. We've got good luck. All right, let's try to go for eight. We're doing it. Cloud with the gifted sub to just one more game. <laughs> London with the gifted sub to Gamblor. Y'all are thinking you're funny. Okay, this is good, this is good, this is good. Let's go for high stakes. That's not good. 
Okay, go for four to seven. Big seven. Okay, wait, that's okay. 17. Okay, we're up by 150. I think we should try to get up by 500. Shepard will betray the galaxy to Saren for a credit line for her gambling addictions. See, that was the problem was when Saren was trying to convince us to join the Reapers, he failed to mention that they have poker, you know? I think the key is to go with the right side until you get numbers you like, and then you resort to the four through seven. Okay, go for it again. I have no time to romance, but queso? <laughs> queso? Oh, big money, big money, play again. All right, are we up by, we're up by, this means we're up by 250, right? Cast is cheering on her 50 credits. <laughs> when it cost me 50,000, 500,000 to buy a weapon. I know, this isn't big enough stakes. I need to go higher. Maybe there's higher stakes. Ernie with the gifted sub, do you can't make me stop? And it's not a problem. Happy Zulu, what's up? Welcome back in, hello. Happy Thursday. I'm getting flashbacks of Gwent. Okay, this is good, this is good. Oh! We've been nothing but killing it. I leave you alone for minutes and you're gambling again. Okay, what does that mean we're positive for? Oh, this is good. This is good. What's the Normandy worth? I need to see if there's a higher one person who played the game but never bought anything. Wait, you played the entire game unusual and didn't? Okay, I'm fine. They're gonna kick me out if I keep winning though. That's a good point. I need to make out like a bandit. Okay, this is a tricky, this is not the ideal situation to be in. I can go four to seven and hope that I don't get seven, but I don't know how lucky I feel. I could lose all of my progress and be back in the hole. But technically I think the, uh, I feel like the chances are better. <gasps> Big wins! What is happening today? Do you feel lucky? Go again, again. Once I see 500, I'll be happy. Whoo! Gambler's Anonymous help. <laughs> Ernie. I sometimes you just need this, okay? Exorius, no. I tune in and of course you're gambling. What's new? 15, oh, this is a really bad place to be in. I can't take 50. I'll be negative 150. Oh, this is even worse than last round. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I still would be losing 100. And that's how they build all the big hotels in Vegas, kids. Can't ask them. Normandy's worth a ton, something like three to four billion credits. Oh, no. Until you hit 500,000, until I can buy a weapon with this. I can't even buy a weapons permit with the money that I've won here. <sighs> Pay out. I'll take the negative 50. Oh, yeah, I'll take the 50. <sighs> okay. Now we know why TwitchCon's been moved to Vegas. It's another reason why it's good that I'm not going to TwitchCon. All right, guys, let's hope for not seven. What is happening? Let's see if there's higher stakes somewhere. Even higher stakes. High stakes, high stakes. Suspicious gambling I machine? This machine has been tampered with, and someone is following oh. to a private account. I will attempt to trace the signal. Okay, trace the signal? What? Damn. She's about to take the machine with her. <laughs> I'll play on a different one. Though that was my lucky machine. Okay, hold on. That was my lucky machine. Suspicious gambling? Seems weird. Gambling leads to side missions. Don't tell me how much the Normandy's worth. She'll take it to a pawn shop. Wait, how am I negative 200? Oh, because it took my losses. Okay. Well, as soon as I get back positive, then we can leave. Classy. Gary, Gary, what's up? Welcome back in. How's it going? Okay. All right, we're positive. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I, mean, I can stop at any time. I just, I've been on such a good victory. I feel like we should go out when we hit 20. Let's go out when we hit 20. It'll be easy. 
Mm. As soon as we get positive. I just I just want to go out on 20. Raj, my coworker said his gambling problem bought his bought his family together. They had to buy a smaller house. <laughs> brought his family together. Raj, thank you for the bits. No, 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 no. Just this is seriously the last one. Once we end on 20, I'll be happy. I know, Gary, I feel like I haven't seen you in so long. I hope you've been doing well. It sounds like you have been. As a specter, you should commandeer the machine. I feel like you're right. Skywalker, thank you so much for paying for... <laughs> for the gifted sub to it's fine. Everything's fine. Just give me the whole machine. Okay. My odds are not great either way. We're in the hole. We're in the hole. We have to dig out. Dig back out. Dig back out. <laughs> I should have left. I should have left. I knew it. <laughs> Put up the Normandy. Oh, why is it giving me these hard situations? Okay. Okay. We're back up. We're back up. We're back up. No, no, no. This is good. At least the gambling's realistic. Pazak. What is Pazak? Pazak? What is that? I feel like I've heard that before. <gasps> a 20! I can leave and I can leave with all my money and I'll be fine. I have 50 positive. I'm good. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. But my luck? That was really lucky. I... No, no. You're right. You're right. No, you're right. I know. Who's making that noise? I see, is it X? Is it XX? Welcome in, I see it's your first time chatting. Star Wars game? No, I have not played that. Fly, you fools. Captain I'm Anderson. Came, oh, I haven't seen Anderson in so long. I miss him. Now I know how you felt. It pulled me off the mission. Just Run, like when you they fools. forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. Mm. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. In Knights of the Old Republic? You have to go to Islands. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. It's not that simple. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel Controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we Rone. override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. What happens to you? Also true. And also, X, thank you for the follow and welcome in. The matching outfits are so cute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The yeah. Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So stop I'll do it. whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Why is he yelling right now? It's just me. <laughs> I was lucky you were probably about to go and <laughs> go on a heater and win big, but you left. Don't tell me that. Don't say that. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? I'm gonna go back now. The Normandy is your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. Aww. Some of them will even follow me into death, so. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. But then he'll be captured. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. Yeah, I like his voice. It's too dangerous. Captain, hi. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Wait till you see Ambassador Rex in Odina the matching outfit. The lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He will not just stand by while you use his computer. Of course. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. Mm -hmm. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Break into his office? You decide? <sighs> Ooh, I don't know how important this is. Garrison Pink is fabulous, okay? And Rattle, welcome in. The matching outfits is what gives us the power to defeat Saren. Sauron. Wasn't it blue last time? 
No, Garrus has always had the pink with us. We've always had the pink. We've been a pink team. Louis, thank you for the follow. He sounds like the concierge from John Wick. Oh my goodness. Um, who is that that plays? I know who you're talking about. Critical, thank you for the follow as well. Bear with the gifted sub to Phoenix Squad. Phoenix Squad? Garrus is pretty in pink. <laughs> the movie Pretty in Pink was actually about Garrus, funny enough. Molly, Ringwald, and Garrus. I think Citadel Control. Break into his office. I also want to add insult to injury. You'll have a better chance if you go after the ambassador's computer. Mm -hmm. I was hoping you'd say that. The ambassador has made this person. Yes, he has. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Not yet. I still have some things to take care of. Come see me when you're ready to do this. I'll be right here waiting for you. I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to come back here. Don't look at me like that. I just need to play one more. Otherwise, otherwise, I'm never gonna be able to play it again. There's no way that I'm gonna come back to the capital. I might as well, I just, I just need, I just need one more. And then we'll get back on the main mission. <laughs> Hal, thank you for the follow. Welcome in as well. And Anon with the gifted sub to rattle and ISW as well. It's one more. Oh shoot, this is not good, not good. Oh, you've got to be getting I went for eight. All right, we gotta do this. Dodo, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for hanging around. Hold on, you said something about bitter? Yes, but also bitter is ginger. <laughs> Wait, I can't deny. Oh, additional reason to play Baldur's Gate 3, but also as bitter as ginger. You're trying to bait me in there by talks of ginger. Seriously, have a good one. Thank you so much for hanging around. I can't stop you. I might be in the hole here. I can get out? Positive. No, I can get out. Oh, but I'm not positive. Guys, I have to be positive. I have to leave on a positive note. But that is leaving on 20. That was super lucky. Do I take this luck on to the next one? One more. Just one more. Zero is positive, but I need it to be higher than zero. It needs to be on one or the other. Can't even lose. <laughs> Wait. Spoon, welcome back in, by the way. Okay. Oh, tricky situation. I'm going negative. We're going down. I'm going down. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. This time, if I hit it to zero, I'll just leave. I'll make out like a bandit. I know. I know, I know, I know. Why did they do me like this? No! Oh, no! No, 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 no! No, 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 my luck's worn out. I need to go to a different one. I'm not giving it up. They'll take all of my credits. Okay, we're not positive yet, but that's huge. That's huge. That's huge. All right, we got to get 20. <laughs> the house always wins. Not today. We're so close. One more. One more. I will never go to a real casino. I won't. I wouldn't do it. I, like, I might go to one, but I would never actually gamble. I just watch. Okay. That's closer. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Whaler, anybody need anything? I expect we'll still be playing this when I get back. No, we're going to go positive here. I feel it in my bones. Okay, okay, we're up 50. We're back in it. All we have to do is get 200. We just have to do 200. We can break even. I can quit anytime I want. I can. I could quit right after this round if I really wanted to. This 
This is going for gold. I'm out! I'm out! We won! I'm out! I'm out! See, exactly. I told you I can quit any time. Right after that one. You gotta know when to hold him. Know when to fold him. All right, let's go. You ready to get Four. the hell off this station, Commander? <laughs> Woo! Let's go. I'm positive. Tour with the gifted sub to stew bag. Stew bag. All right, before we do this, let me run to the bathroom. Let me prepare myself because I feel like this is going to go really quickly. Hack it out. <laughs> I can quit anytime I want. You guys know that. In the spirit of Kenny Rogers, guy, may the spirit guide you. All right, guys, I'll be right back. And then we'll get started on this mission. And that might be the only thing we accomplish today. Um, I'm going to see. I feel pretty good, though. Imagine Anderson seeing you go gamble. What do you think he's doing in flux? Do you think he's just having a drink here? No, he just came off of the slots. Are you kidding me? Mm -mm. Liara sleeps alone when chat's all lost. I think after this mission, she is going to want to sleep with us. But grab the WD-40 on the way back. Skywalker, thank you for the gift and sub to Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Are you ready? Aye, aye, Captain. What? Y'all. I... I'm gonna have... I just... Why? Why? You guys are not ready. Hitch, thank you for the follow. Clout. Clout, you started it this time? And here I was about to blame Bear. Clout, Bear, Darpass, and London. Guys, thank you for all of the gifted subs to the channel and community. Um, Jay, thank you so much for the resub for seven months in a row as well. Zealous. What the hell? And add more. Thank you so much. Guys. Overzealous. Did it have a message with it? And it just wasn't displayed? Thank you so, so much for the, the donation. And add more thank you for the kind words. So keeping you and never let others change you and keep doing the things you love. I always will. Like, as long as I can do this, I will always do this. Is Maggie still on no caffeine grinds? I am, and it's been incredibly painful. And the past 24 hours, I've wanted nothing but to have caffeine. Truly. Zealous, thank you. Just beyond words and all of you guys for all the gifted subs. Also, happy World Lion Day. <laughs> Spurs, welcome back in. And Celil as well. The famous streamer, the chair. It is the chair. I need to say before we do this. Um, Admore, I really appreciate your kind words. No, I was doing so good at not getting emotional and thinking about it. So the gambling with them was from the caffeine withdrawals. I have to have an addiction to something. Exactly. Hungry Snake, thank you and welcome back in. Is simply filling the gap of caffeine with yeah. I still have some things to oh, take. Oh no, care I didn't mean to, but I think we should when save you're ready anyway. To do this. I'll be right here waiting for you. I'm sorry you're not having caffeine. My caffeine is really good right now. <laughs> I'm sure it would help, and it would definitely help me. But um I feel really good right now. Well, I was on like a really good kick and I'm not gonna fall off of it just because of recent events. So I'm gonna get back on it. I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna walk after or sometime today. I haven't walked today or yesterday. So I gotta get back on the grind. Um, over, overzealous, thank you. Yeah, I gotta get in the workout. That's the best way to overcome things. I feel like sometimes just throw your energy into it. Tech, thank you for the follow, and Classy with the Hydrate, and Purple with the Posture Check. I have been barely surviving off of um, sparkling water, though. Purple with the Posture Check. Um, Dark Raven, hi. Add more, thank you. Okay, all right. Let me, I saved, I hard saved, right? You okay. ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Hell yeah. Let's do Middle it. of the day is perfect, Spurious. I'll take care of the lockdown. 
You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Okay. Aye, aye. Bubbles or something, all you need, not caffeine. It's the bubbles for me. Yeah, it's not the caffeine. Especially a boxing workout. Yeah, I think... Uh, I feel like I really want to throw myself into, like I said, a board game group and then also getting involved with a, a workout group. Like whether that's yoga or I keep hearing really good things about Pilates. A rage room could help. <laughs> also true. I think that's a fast path Excuse over there. Me. Whoa. You're the specter, right? Oh, what does this person want now? Looking like an OG. Don't like sparkling water. I love like that was the thing is I feel like everywhere I went in Europe, it was always sparkling water and I loved it. I'm semi-addicted to the spin drift. Sparkling water, that's such an interesting, that has a very defined like flavor, but I don't hate it. They have it at Kava, so I normally get it there. And Coyote, I hope you enjoyed the lurk and thanks for hanging around. All right. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. Explain yourself. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firm oh, Party. Charles. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? Armistice Day? You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest. As we have every year for the last 26 years. Really? The war 20? taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. Hmm. Investigate further election. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the Charles five spacer us. seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. Baroque. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. I, I mean, yeah, that's true. I don't know how I feel about this guy. Raven, what are you guys doing? Raven, thank you so much for the donation. If any of these have messages, by the way, I will look at them off stream. Um, Raven, thank you. And also Protocol, thank you for the follow as well. Uh, Terra Firma. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences, politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. Mm, so he's like, that is not unreasonable, but some of the things these people are saying sound a bit bigoted. Excuse me, I don't believe human politics are any of your business. Excuse me, that is my lover. What the Alliance does affects everyone around it. Also true, bigger picture. Do I tell her quiet? Or I'm telling him quiet. Can't, am I telling her quiet or him quiet if I say this? This is, okay, I did say lover. You caught me. You caught me, <laughs> lover vanilla. If I say quiet, am I attacking her or him? Oh no. Stay out of this. Oh, of course, Shepard. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I thought I was gonna tell him that. Oh no, oh no, she hates me. Oh no. Why do I read this and I'm like, I walk a lonely road. <laughs> sorry, I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that Silence before the in girlfriend. history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shan Shi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. Shan Shi? The occupation that's right, of Shan Shi right. couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back mm -hmm. then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. I'm not supporting this guy, period. I feel like, also, this is a really, like, we stand no chance if we don't group together for this upcoming battle against the Reapers. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I disagree with it. With all due respect. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers, remembers you. you. Is that your slogan? That's your slogan? I mean, I just, I think he was respectful as well. He was respectful. No blood for aliens. All right. Let's head over here. What? All right, we got the med. We're going to fast travel over here. So we need to get back to the Normandy as fast as possible. So we need to go to CSEC. Hmm. 
It's interesting how you just run into random people along the way. I don't think we had a, more of that in the beginning, right? I feel like there wasn't a whole lot of it. Not Ward's access. Or no, it is Ward's access, isn't it? C-Sec. Woo! You reap what you sow. <laughs> Mass Effect dialogue wheel, you have to read the context to get a feeling of what Shepard might say. Yeah, and it's like, um, we've talked about this with a lot of other games as well. It's one of those difficult things that, oh, is that to my ship or is that to my ship? I think it's the middle one. It's one of those things as well that Garrus, what you perhaps pick. Perhaps it is my own trouble with Benezia that makes me ask. But do you feel comfortable KV. facing a respected Turi inspector like Saren? Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Mm. Taking him down will restore the good name of Turians everywhere. With your respect for the specters, I thought you might hesitate. I'm glad I was wrong. Oh, yeah, Ashley would have been really cool to have that. I also didn't think about how Saren is definitely could be impacting at least a lot of people that already aren't a big fan of the Turians to begin with. It's just more ammunition for them to dislike them more over what Saren's doing. Jans, thanks for the follow and welcome in. And people say, people want to say that Ashley's space is but terra firma and Ashley hates them. Well, we didn't get to see that. I saw somebody else say that Drash said she has a lot to say to these guys as well. So she dislikes them. Interesting. Good evening, Magnet Chat. Parachute, welcome back in. Aries, thank you for the 300 bits. Um, Liara is the best. I choose her too. I do like Liara. I didn't mean to shut her up. I sometimes get flustered by. Uh, do I? Can I try? Can I buy my lover some flowers? I just get frustrated that sometimes what you pick isn't directly correlated to what you say. I don't need it to be exactly that because then it'd be repetitive but I need it to be more on track with what I'm picking. Sometimes you pick an option and then it's something completely opposite. I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. Okay, first of all, I'm the one that has the room. She does not, okay? She has like a bunk. Narcissist, thanks for the follow, welcome in. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. You like love, don't you? So you guys are saying that if I don't sleep with her, it proves that I don't like love? Liara stopped here. Writing powers. I love her conversations with Shepard. I think that she's very Stand by receptive. Party. Decontamination Turn. in progress. Decontamination in progress. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's see Anderson in action. Oh! Anderson! What are you doing here? I didn't send... <clears throat> Let's go! Uh, why can't he hop on the ship with us? I know, there's not enough time. Joker. Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Joker's so happy. SR1. Mm -hmm. I know, you gotta respect and love a good punch of somebody you just really don't like. Shepard, out. Anderson is too great. If he actually, there's no way that they'd kill him though. That wouldn't be the process that they have in place. He, I think he would just be in prison. So hopefully we can help him later on. So we are back up into the galaxy. We're supposed to head over there, but it wouldn't be me if we didn't do some side questing first. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. SR1. Anderson is such a good character. I love him in that moment. I, I mean, I love him all the time, but that moment was fabulous for him. Like, I feel like he deserves something like that. All right, y'all. So let's go to assignments. We need holo tactics. I miss holo tactics. I do. I loved Survivor so much. Mm, you know you like a good punch when Shepard punch. <laughs> we need to have a punch counter. Probably in the next one. I think that I've seen you guys kind of hint at there's more punches in the next one. I am the law. I'm just above the law. Uh, wait, that's awesome, Hostie, by the way. Congratulations. Wants the mom on shirts. <laughs> you gotta have them. Yes, we need to save. I do agree. We need to save. First playthrough is such a special feeling scene and then getting the SR1 back. Um, I'm kind of hoping Joker has a bigger presence in future ones as well. Okay, so first things first. Major Kyle. Wait, actually, we could do this one. Investigate system. 
Hide your system in Argos Row Cluster to investigate. Oh man, unusual readings. I feel like this one's gonna be really difficult, but Argos Row Cluster, go. Yeah, I think that's why I know a lot of people, well, I don't think anybody who's been here for a while is surprised at how long this playthrough's taking. Um, but I just can't stress enough that you just, on you only get one first playthrough. So I wouldn't be doing myself or y'all any favors by rushing it. Argus Row. And then Hydra System. So they said something, anything in here. What does Joker look like without a baseball cap? <gasps> Do you think he has hair underneath his head? Like, do you think he's, is he molding or? Message coming in. Patch it Rex is love, Rex is life. <laughs> glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation. Is that a tag right now? Oh my gosh. Done. Here we go. Is that a tag right now? Jugger bear will come in and also shadow with the hydrate. Mm. We gotta appreciate Vert for these times. Vert makes all of the tags. Tag confirmed. <laughs> Lampy, welcome in. I remember having to go to Elias at some point in the game. No time for a side quest. Um, I don't think it's kicked us there yet. I think we can do side quests because I've made it to here. Interesting. Mm, I have no time for people at 100% Mass Effect anyway. <laughs> What's going on? All right, I'm How in. can I help, Admiral? I'm in. Bionic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. Ooh. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. I can't just run it. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are gonna die. Hmm. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. Does Hackett know who I am? I can keep the... I can keep them to a minimum. Chin, what's up? Welcome back in. How's it going? The Fallout Vault. You 100%ed all three of them. Then again, I've only played ME1 exactly once. It's been over 10 years since the last time. And anyways, I just started blasting. And Lard, have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging around. Ah. You said you always wanted to play this, but didn't want to make the time commitment. Nefarious welcome in, by the way. Yeah, it is. It's a lot of time. I think the first one actually is the supposed to be the shortest one. But somehow I'm trying to fight that. I think I'm trying to switch it around. Mm. Do you have any plans for Baldur Gate 3 after Mass Effect? So unfortunately, the rest of the year, not unfortunately, excitingly, the rest of the year is already planned out because I do a lot of things for October and December. Um, and so pretty much after August and September, which will be all of Mass Effect, we've got November. And so I've got to see where we're at with the Mass Effect series, but I don't think I'll be making it to Baldur's Gate this year. But I'm not saying no to at some point in the year next year, if that makes sense. October is all booked up. December is all booked up. Oh, why am I having a headache? November is and seven month. Oh, that's true. We should do what we should do. Um, Mass Effect three during November. I don't know how far we'll get. I'm taking so long with these. Not that I'm taking long. I'm taking my time with these. The first one by far is the shortest one, which is Nettie. Oh no, <laughs> it's gonna take us all of September. I f I reckon I'll finish this by halfway through this month, like maybe in the next week or two, and then we'll probably take an entire month and a half to finish two. So then November might in fact be. Three. Baldur's Gate 3 is every second you've loved it. Yeah, I can see myself wanting to kind of get out of my comfort zone with that game style next year. But yeah, pick whatever a friend told me before your playthrough shows your personality in these games or just in any game. Are you going to go to the fourth or just do the three in Legendary? HK, I think for now, I think I'm just going to do the first three, but I do want to experience Andromeda for myself. Also, YR, what's up? Welcome, he and... This is the portal gal? Are you saying she kind of looks like the portal gal? Because if she had brown hair, I think she would. Too much caffeine. When will the headaches end? No, it's not from a caffeine end. It could be. I mean, I feel like at this point, it's been about a week since I've had caffeine, so I shouldn't be getting headaches anymore, right? Also, Bear, thank you for the follow, and I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel and community. Uh, Andromeda is actually decent now. I'm just going to tailor my expectations, if at all, like, have any expectations and go into it. All right, I'll do everything me. within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. Safely. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. 
Definitely loud. Didn't you say you enjoyed it, Bear? Where are the coordinates? Where are the coordinates at? So this is another side mission that he's sending us on. We have to go into one of these. Well, actually, I can correct this. It would have to be the one that is landable. It's not Vermillas. Uh, also, if you guys are popping Message in, are you... In. Oh. Patching it through. Oh. Hold up. General distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Yep. Critical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. Argos. Oh, that's not good. Communications failing. Life support. Emergency transponder. Won't last. Won't last. Please hurry. Please hurry. <laughs> I thought you said you enjoyed it, but didn't you say that you played it first and then went to the first three? And Crunchy, what's up? Welcome back in. Andromeda just might match her play style. Um, also, I just, I love so many games and I know that's just like, probably an understatement, but also I feel like, I say it as if not everybody loves every single game, but I never go into a game looking for, not that I don't think, I don't think anybody goes into a game wanting to point out all of the negative things about it. But I'm just at a point where even if a game isn't maybe as like buffed out as possible, I find it to be almost more fun. But I also get to play it with you guys. I think that maybe it would be more frustrating if I was recording it and I was sitting by myself, you know? I have a pair of the glasses that help me a lot. You should try them. Oh, I have heard of that brand. I have. It could be a lighting thing. It could be just the caffeine. It could be a culmination of things I think right now also I know if I'm stressed out like whenever I'm stressed I get headaches from it everyone gets their own opinions absolutely Andromeda gameplay is easily the best of the franchise and it's just the story isn't all up to snuff and people compare it all the way to the other side Darlene's what's up welcome in we have officially left our grounding we were grounded at the citadel and so we just left that but now we're doing side quests we're gonna land get back into this. We're going to do side quests and then we won't be getting to it today. I think Saturday will be a good day to oh, I want to take Tally. Oh, I got to take Tally on this because I want to be able to break into things. Or wait, wait, wait. Can Garrus break into things? Now I can't remember. I think Garrus can break into things, right? Hold up. You killed Kaden. I did choose to go with Ashley because she was with the Solarians. So it just so happened that it worked out that way. I was about saving the Solarians. Have I noticed any big changes not having caffeine? I think I've realized that I don't need it. Um, at least personally, I actually, as of the last couple days, I had felt a lot more natural energy, but I also have greens. Like I take um, like greens too, that probably help with my energy. I also have been wanting to wake up and go to the gym because I'm not having caffeine. So if I wake up and work out, I get my energy for the day, if that makes sense. And Elias, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I really appreciate that. Um, I use like athletic greens. It's like your green supplements because at least, and I don't use them every single day. I do them if I know that I'm not gonna get my nutritional uh, quota for the day. So a lot of times like I won't get enough vegetables or things like that. So I kind of use it as a supplement. Yeah, AG1. As a caffeine enjoyer, I respect any, any be the no caffeine life. I would love to. I mean, I I think at the same time, I can't say I'm caff let me let me correct this. I'm not necessarily caffeine free. Like I drink tea, but that is such a smaller quantity than drinking Alani's or things that give you 200 milligrams of caffeine. Um, I'm off of energy drinks. That was the challenge, was no energy drinks and no alcohol. Yeah. Never drink an energy drink plus pre-workout if I'm going to the gym. I don't know how you manage. That's too much at the same time for me. I I remember I had one. <laughs> yeah, it's the beta alanine. I can't do the jitters when I work out. And typically that's what causes it. It makes you super human when you do both together. Yeah, I realized I have Superman colors on today. I've been looking into it. Yeah, man, I really like it. I've been using them for about a year now, pretty much. Wake up and work out. I'm not into the, I'm not in the army anymore. It actually, so sometimes I'll go to the gym or sometimes I'm actually walking on the treadmill now that I have that. And that instantly like wakes me up. Like the first thing I do is work out, like and move my body. It just gets me ready for the day. But it is sometimes hard to like pull my, my body out of bed. Games like this always get FOMO. I always get anxiety about choices are bad. My choices are bad because there's so many different options. Absolutely, but I think, and trust me, like 
if you get that, I constantly have something in the back of my head telling me like my choices and everything are uh, like going to be judged, right? Like I'm putting all of my choices and in a lot of ways, like streaming is incredibly vulnerable and maybe people don't always realize this. And sometimes I forget about it. No, it's going to break. Oh no. Oh no. It's crash. Oh, it didn't crash. It didn't crash. Matcha is a great alternative. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I just have to remember at the end of the day, and like, this is what I try to like stress to you guys. It's like this line. It's like the boundary that it is, is a lot of times my playthroughs aren't a direct reflection of me as a person. They're heavily impacted by me, my experiences, my own feelings, thoughts, right? But they're not, when I put a playthrough out there, like it's not a direct representation of me. And that kind of makes me feel a little bit better. Even if people will look at it like that. Vicus, what's up? I know we're gonna have to save the game when we get into here. Forget about that. Mass Effect is in real life? What? All right, save, we gotta save them. But I don't know where, whoa, have I never been on this planet? Or was this a planet that we weren't able to land on previously? <gasps> All right, go backwards. Mm. Imagine if it was though. I, I'm going backwards, hold up. I've never cared or wanted to go into space, but this game has me rethinking it. Mm. All right, so we're gonna go up here. Oh, for Zealous, I didn't realize you served. That's amazing. We have a lot of veterans here, actually. Oh, okay. There we go. So you're saying you won't have this many violations? HR violations, IRL? Personally, I can say that I don't think in my whole time in any of my careers I've ever done something receive an HR violation <laughs> in real life. Mm, space is very not is very likely not how it is in sci-fi. Oh, absolutely not. This is such a romanticized version of it. Like anything we've seen, right, is absolutely romanticized. Hmm. Plus, they don't have Chicky Chicky Lele in space, so I mean, what are you gonna do? Or Taco Bell. All right, manual decryption. Yeah, so Garrus does have the capability. So it was when I had Rex. That's why I wasn't able to do it. Oh, what? Why did I just get like closed out there? I got closed pinned. I knew I was gonna fail that. Just lead the way. 52 civilian HR reports, but zero military. <laughs> it was all in my contracting jobs. That was where all the HR complaints came from. Nice, there we go. Space games wouldn't be fun if they adhered to space rules. <laughs> also true. Also true. Who else doesn't believe in it? Billy, welcome back in. I think it would have been cool to see it. All right, here we go. My dad loves space though. So I feel like I grew up always watching space things. And I don't know when it kind of fell off. I don't know when I stopped. Like, I guess at some point I fixated more on fantasy. Why does it remind me of The Expanse? So, I really want to play that series. I'm holding out. Tomorrow I am recording my... Wait, how am I going to get out of this? Tomorrow's my next short game that I'm playing, and I'm super excited to share it. I'm not going to tell you what it is, because I think it's, it's a newer game that just recently came out that I feel like is not on a lot of people's radars. So I'm excited to share it with you guys. Mm. Mr. X, thank you for the stretch. It's a Mako mission every time I join. Luke, you welcome back in. You just missed. We were doing kind of main story. Okay. Guys, I'm in a giant bowl. I'm in a giant bowl. <laughs> Most games are pretty high in fantasy. Also true. Caden was a real man. You should definitely take the decisions very seriously. It's gotta be here. Get me up, get me up. Oh, get the grip, get the grip, get the grip, no. <laughs> Don't act like you're sad to see the Mako. I feel a lot older than I am, than I actually am now. But the knees, it's always the knees. The knees are always the first to go. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. No, launch me, <laughs> launch me. All right, hold on, telltale expanse. 
Yeah, the Telltale Expanse, but are you talking about the TV series? Sounds like you're talking about the TV series. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I just go pterodactyl mode. She means gambling her life savings away by the main story. <laughs> Guys, I've gotten myself in some kind of situation here. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Grip it. Get it. Do it. No. Okay, maybe right here. This looks like it could be it. What is the, oh no, oh no, back it up. My thrusters aren't working. <laughs> okay, turn it around. Oh my god. Yeah, Telltale is doing an Expanse game, yeah. They have the first two parts out, this is not it. Do you know the Muffin Man? Time to call the Step Mako for a toe. The Step Mako, by the way. Oh no. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. I got it, I got it. We're out. I'm out. Maddie, no spoilers. No spoilers. That's what 100% happened in real life. <laughs> wait, 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 what did that person say? <laughs> wait. I missed it. You're trying to give your squad mates concussions. <laughs> Not intentionally, but happy accidents. Happy accidents. Lars, thank you so much for the reset for eight months in a row. Has it already been eight months? And bear more thrust, more firepower. <laughs> oh my gosh. All of these random accounts that get gifted subs, you guys, are probably like, what the hell? Who is this? What is this? One thing Andromeda has in its favor is one of the big complaints was that people didn't like the Mako. But clearly that's not an issue there. Ah! I love it. I love the goofiness. Would I like this if I wasn't playing with you guys? Probably not. I'd probably be really impatient and hate it. <laughs> I'm trying to use the insurance fraud to enhance the gambling addiction. I didn't even think about that, but that is so true. Balky has pizza on the way. That does sound so good. Oh. I feel like I need comfort food tonight, though, and I'm thinking... I'm thinking soup. Oi! Naughty Peach! Naughty Peach, thank you so much for the nine months of continual support, and hello! Just thank you. I am so glad you're a part of this community and it's awesome to have gotten, like, to meet you and everything. I don't know. Meet you through Anna and such. Tomato soup? Tomato soup and grilled cheeses? Vegetable soup? I don't know. I'm thinking, like, um, my go-to cozy soup? Broccoli and cheddar. It's gotta be broccoli and cheddar. Oh! Hold up. Is that it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thigh gap checks out. Dead. Definitely dead. Is, in fact, dead. Um, it's a... It's a... <laughs> it's a Garrus. Good soup. You gotta go broccoli and cheddar. It was not an HR. Ah! He's gapped. He's gapped AF. <laughs> well, now he is. I didn't do it. You saw nothing. Liara? Out. Wait, what? Oh, level ha two hazard. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't even notice we can't be out and about. Wedding soup is so good. Um, That's the stuff with the, the little circles. What, what kind of pasta is in that? Ah! Oh wait, this is the one that I'm at right now. I can't be here. <laughs> Liara's bleeding out. I'm like, what's happening? No. Woo! Now that is a way to get us all 100% 100% disability pay after this. There you go. Absolute chaos. The VA benefits are plentiful here. Too busy admiring the dead Durian to realize you're dying. 
<laughs> Observing the other dead. Neo has a concussion. Wait, why we? Oh, we just saw this. The backflip plus a thousand cool points. Exactly. The body was face down. Should Turian over for positive ID? I need to flip him over for positive ID. Instead of looking at his face, we have to inspect his thigh gap. Naughty Peach. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Y'all, if you've gotten a gifted sub from Naughty Peach, oh! Woo! That was a close one. Please give them a big thank you. Yeah, yeah, they come back. After everything I've done to them in the Mako and they come back and only agree to 10%, 10% to <laughs> of the VA benefits. Oh wait, I'm supposed to over here. The suspension is shot. Oh, it's right here. Ah, I see, I see. Heading to position. Naughty, thank you so much. The suspension. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Opa. There we go. All right, get back in, get back in. All right, back it up, back it up. They require a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> the mountain driving license. There is the wreckage. I do not see any survivors there. Oh. Careful, Commander. I've got a bad feeling about this. I don't see. Death. It's a trap. It's a. It's a trap. It's a trap. Frank. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh. Ow, ow. Oh my gosh, lots of geth. What is happening, you drones? There we go. All right, we gotta start dodging this stuff. This is a big trap. It's a trap. It's electric. Run him over. Give him a little jump to jump. Oh, just you wait. His body flies over in the ocean. Ah, uh, there's gotta be, I see this guy. All right, he gone. Where else? There's gotta be more. The Humvee driving. I think that's it. Yeeted and deleted. Garrus is channeling his what? <laughs> you had to get out of the Mako and kill everybody on foot. And that that determined your XP, right? Like if, the, if you killed it within the Mako, you wouldn't get XP Ready. for it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. On your order, uh, guys, I'm, I'm about to get some hazard, but... Right behind you, Wait, stop! I'm Just not trying to talk way. to you guys! Can I not do this? Alright, go over here. Well! I think we did what we were supposed to do. I think we did it. Right? This is something else, though. This is something different. Did I do what I needed to do? It was the one at the very bottom, right? Yes, we just did. Yeah, so now it's just Major Kyle. Nice. Okay, okay, we're good with that. I'm only borrowing. <laughs> I'm just gonna borrow this real quick. The Humvee driver is surprised I wasn't a Humvee driver in the Air Force. <laughs> me driving anything? Are you kidding me? Should see me driving the truck. Biotic fanatics have taken over. Okay, so we need to do this one. So we need to go to the cactus system of the Hades Gamma Cluster. All right, Cactus, Hades Gamma. To the Normandy. There was an anti-vehicle mine under that thing. I didn't realize that it was gonna explode like that. On me, at the best chow house and AC. Has anyone ever tried to drive as far as you can in one direction to see how far the game goes? No, there's um, there's a red perimeter. You can't do that. Sir Bacon, by the way, hi. <laughs> London, can you please stand up? Bear with the gifted sub to Pilot Maddie. <laughs> I bet you're driving the truck is just as great as driving the Mako. Yes, how did you know? Which background did you choose for? Uh, I have a ruthless background and I'm an orphan. I ran over a probe with the Mako and the activator. Wait, I didn't know that you could even run that over. No. Oh, I love the little golf carts. I know what you're talking about, Lampy. Uh, I didn't like personally, like when I was on duty, but I do remember seeing the little, the little buggies everywhere. I was thinking about, um, oh no, I lost it. Hades Gamma, I need to go in here. Soup, soup, how's it going? Uh, was it in Cactus? Yeah. Standing? I don't like, 
I kind of, I think when I get older, like not anytime soon, but I think it'd be really cool to get like a private pilot's license. It's just like so costly, but my brother did it. And so I'd really, I don't know. I think it'd be really cool to just have that, like to just be able to know that you can fly. Um, how is this supposed to help me? Oh, it was in the, it was in Chohi. All right, land. Yeah, I think it's, that's the only like deterrent is it's super pricey and getting all the hours. I used to run as far as I can walking, wait, wait, water walking on Elden Scrolls Morrowind. You, this is the second time you guys have brought up El Morrowind, AKA Morrowood. All right, let's go. Anyone can fly. It's a landing you gotta look out for. Mm, the most terrifying thing is touch and goes. Like when I was, my, uh, my cousin also flies and he would do touch and goes and that, just scared me so much guys thank you for another hype train just thank you but except for pilot maddie who cares about pilot maddie ever channeling her frank ocean i got a fighter jet but i don't get to fly it though <laughs> i drive an f-22 raptor the f-22 vehicle may or may not require a wheel to justify its existence <laughs> skywind mod should be close to launch what is skywind mod for for morrowood all right, let's go over here. These must be all new planets that I've never been to before, by the way. Miss Brookie Queen, a threesome of death. Hope you're okay. Hey, chat. <laughs> um, what an entrance, Lig. Welcome back in. <laughs> threesome of death. <laughs> You almost got brookies today at Walmart? What? Why is there an almost there? Basically community mod. That they recreate Morrowind in Skyrim's engine. That sounds amazing. Um, I popped in after we raided Jess last time. I popped in today when she was streaming just for a little bit. And I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of getting a Skyrim bug. I'm getting a Skyrim bug, guys. <laughs> Hearing you talk about them made me want to get them, but yet you didn't get it, soup. and. So like, here's the thing. I'm gonna need you to show up next stream. You've got two days to get them. I need you to show up Saturday with some brookies, okay? Cause I'm not, I can't be the only person hyped up on brookies on Saturday. All right. I expect that to see everybody in overalls and hyped off of brookies. <laughs> I drive the Chevro legs since the Chevro legs. What? Tristan, by the way, thank you so much for the reset for nine months in a row as well. All side quests, so I don't think so. I'm not gonna do like a normal length of a stream, you guys. Um, this is making me feel a lot better, but I think we'll we'll probably do a couple more side quests, but no main mission. I can tell you no main mission progress today. Uh, Dodo, cast a Skyrim stream when I don't know. I know not this year. Like I can tell you guys confidently the rest of the year is pre-planned um, in the best way possible, but. That can be arranged. <laughs> Skyrim looks really cool. It just looks like my type of game. Like it looks like something I would just love to play, but you're right, it would be way too long. Oh, Chevrolet, Chevrolet, I gotcha. No, 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 I'm tracking now. <laughs> I'm tracking. All right, let's go like this, bop, nice. The floppy pickle. What? <laughs> All right, grab this. It would become a Skyrim channel. No one finished the Skyrim. That's the other problem. That's the other problem is how would I finish? You guys know that I've created like a habit of always finishing games when we start. For the most part, RIP Banjo Tooie. We will come back. You said something. Herb, thank you so much. And I couldn't agree more. Uh, but I'll get a Brookie. Brookie crumbs everywhere in spirit. You better. All right, deactivate. Close to the transmitter, your comms pick up a recording of a wistful string quartet. You power the system down. Whoever lived here, they haven't been back here for some time. <laughs> the crates are covered with Chloe's, no, Choey's, chalky dust, and the status lights of the shack indicate its atmosphere ran out a long time ago. We have one more matrix writing. Yeah, only one more matrix writing. Did you say it takes 1K hours to complete Skyrim? I thought you can't even, I thought you didn't even, like you can't actually complete Skyrim. And Crate, thank you for the follow. I think Envy has recently recreated Fallout 4's engine. Skyrim, 
can eat time used to for therapy and have almost 3,400 hours. But you guys know I like to do all the side quests possible. Geralt, we were kind of romancing everybody to the point that I got basically sidelined by, not sideline, sidelined, but I, I had to make a choice between Caden and Liara and I chose to offer them to have a threesome and Caden didn't like that. So now it's just Liara. But I don't know if I'm actually going to romance her or not. I don't know. I think we're like casually romancing. Happy to see what you're doing. Doing yeah, absolutely. No, this doing that's why and that's why like I knew you I I knew for a fact I did not have to pop on stream today, y'all, but I wanted to. Like I really wanted to. All right, this should Wait, that's so strange. Oh, that's what we needed to do in the first place, right? No. The medical base. Eliminate the biotics. Did I miss the medical base? Maybe it's the location over here. Yeah, Caden did not like the idea, and so Maggie nuked him. It, okay, first of all, if you guys remember yesterday, I did in fact... You bought Skyrim on June 14th, 2014. Um, I was trying to have my cake and eat it too. But if you guys remember, before I made the decision, I did say I'm going to have to process this. So I won the battle between Caden versus Casta Sass. Also, Papa Miyazaki, thank you for the follow and welcome in. He paid dearly for his rejection. Woo! Ashley won. I feel like I just have this burning hatred for any Ashley character in games. Ever since Ashley from RE4, she did all Ashley's a disservice, you know? The 360. Oh, I do need to try to do like a whole 360, don't I? That was more like a 180. <laughs> it is valid. It is extremely valid. Oh. It's based, right? Leon, help! <laughs> help, Leon! Okay, there should be a base over here somewhere. Cause I'm free. This is, this isn't it though. <laughs> Bear with the gifted sub two, Trashly. She won't be missed. I should start using my gel. I, how did you know, Spoon? How did you, what if that was it? We always meme about this, right? Like if my, uh, my two opportunities to ever VA would be Ashley or the Quarry 2. Quarry 2, we want to use your voice in the game. No, 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 science base. Oh, I must have not, did I go to that science base or no, I didn't. We like the two worst options ever. He's currently trying to get the sickest airframe. Or airtime. All right, hold on. Okay, that was not good. Not good. Hold on. It takes a certain... Like, maybe right here I might be able to get off. Hold on. It's really hard to, like, flip it around. I'm gonna have to turn around. I think I can do it like this. Hold on. Oh, that's been really hard to do. I need to get more air to do it. You can't just do it on solid ground. And then you have to start, oh, uh, see, you have to like really start to turn. It would be your chance to improve the game. <laughs> Whoa. And then it's, yeah, it's all in the stick work. Maggie Hawk. <laughs> Maribel, what's up? Welcome back in. Hold on, hold on. I may be able to do it here. And no, it just doesn't want to turn that fast. Oh, Salmon! Salmon, welcome back in, and thank you for the hydrate. Pretty sure I gifted a sub to Trashly at least once before. Yes, I I remember this. Was it? But I don't even think... The thing is, I don't even think it was during the RE4 replay. You know, this is strange. This has been a very interesting year. I keep talking about how I don't normally play games right when they come out, but this year I played three games right when it comes out. And I know somebody also asked about Starfield. I... I just, I have to see where Mass Effect is before I can 
commit to anything else in good conscience. I mean, we already know I'm not going to finish one through three before Starfield comes out. Why would does this headphone not want to stay? For the culture, you'd have to do Quarry 2. And I could see you being a sassy, Ashley. Leon. <laughs> Leon, just let me do it. Leon, help. Yeah, but I couldn't do it if all she had to say was help. Oh, take down the terrorists. But remember to check your targets. The civilians are so addled by the drug, they'll wander right into the middle of a firefight. That's not my fault, then. For the record, if they walk into it, I did eat you eat. I did eat. You can only stuff trashly in the receptacle in the OG. I know. They knew. I think they didn't want. Okay, I know what's happening here. That is dragging down this. So anyways, I just started blasting. <laughs> okay. It'll be fine. But my stasis. I can't help who I stasis. You know? Mmm. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Liza P is going to be awesome. Lords of the Fallen as well. Engaging target. Absolutely. I will destroy you. Insane scientist. Hold up. Biotic terrorist. Hold up. Override. And marksman. Nice. Whoa. Whoa. Hold on. That doesn't look like. Oh. My, both of my people are down. They do a lot of it. Oh, they do a lot of damage. Hold on. Lift him up. Lift him up. Get back up, get back up, get back up. I will destroy you! I'm in stasis. Been knocked down. But I get up again. That's the leader. Leader down, leader down. Run! Oh no! Alright, he's behind you. I will destroy you! Okay, that's in the Oh! Wait a minute, what? Hold on. Stasis, sir? Singularity. I keep saying stasis. Singularity. All right, nice, nice, nice. All right, she's gone. Okay, uh, I think the I'm saying, I destroy you. What is happening? You've cleared the facility. All the civilians are safe. They're still chattering to themselves and screaming at the garbage cans. Evolution of humanity, huh? Those biotics didn't seem to be different from the other skeleton you deal with. I saved everyone. All of them. Medigel deployed. Clear. That is shocking. Absolutely shocking. Also, did I even hydrate salmon? I'm sorry. Oh. I kind of like how wild the firefights get. Okay. And then it gets really oddly quiet. They're talking to the truck. I can't stop it. I can't stop it. It's all spinning away. Oh, now I can't shoot them. Bubbles, bubbles, but when I touch them, I pop. Too much spinning. <laughs> that took you 20 plus tries to do that part. Venger, welcome in. And also Papa Miyazaki. Thank you so much for the prime sub. I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel and community. Thank you. Hmm. Are we a fan of Souls games? I see. The cocaine is hell of a drug. Bubbles, bubbles. But when I try to pop them. What does this one say? <laughs> Bubbles. When I smile, the walls chime. That's the same lady. Making so much music. She's got it. Oh, she's got a twin. All right, grab everything. Are you saying you would if you could? If I would, I shoot. Shoot. I had my opportunity to shoot. I held back. I could have. You always want them to know you could, but I'm not going to. I didn't do it. Uh, this looks like a safe spot to travel. Do, do, do. Thanks. All the people are on the good good. So much so, they're all starting to look the same. When she went crazy, she cloned herself. <laughs> oh, you came from the FF7 videos. I see. That's funny. Ah, this is the president. Miyazaki himself. Um, Seriously, thank you so much for taking the time to pop over from YouTube, and I'm glad you're enjoying the content. If I don't hold still, it will all spill out, oh. and then I won't be me anymore. I won't be me if it all spills out. I have to hold still. <laughs> what is spilling out of you, sir? Okay, we're not going to think too hard into that one. We're just going to leave. I think we're done with this mission, too. No. Yes. 
Yeah. Oh, I got to report back to Hackett. Hackett out. Whoa. What do you mean, HR? Also, remind me, after today, I'm going to make a hold the line. We should have had one anyway because of how much I sing that song. But I'm going to have it say hold the line. And we'll just... Because we, I, I need to fill. So there are officially new emotes being created, but we have six slots that I have to fill. So I'm going to make a little word one. You know what you did. <laughs> I didn't do it. I'm hyped to see FF16. I still haven't started it. What? Oh, I know you've been super busy and everything as well. Um, but I think you're going to love it. Yeah, that goes up on Saturday. Tomorrow is a final episode. So today was the final episode of the actor story. But guys, I wasn't going to leave y'all without completing all the stories in Layers of Fear. Okay, I don't half-ass games. I might be a lot of things, but half-assing a game is not one of them. So that's going up Friday because I didn't want to take away from Final Fantasy. Um, and Juan, what's up? Welcome back in. Hold the line. But then I feel like I need to have like another one that says love isn't always on time, but that's too much to fit into an emote, you know? All right, back to the Normandy. Talk to Hackett. I'm so excited for spooky games. That one wasn't even that spooky, and you guys saw how much I got scared. Message coming in. That was in. terrifying. Patching it through. Also, I it didn't think it could be done, Commander. You managed to secure the base and neutralize the biotics without a single civilian casualty. You're welcome. Sell the Normandy? Pull it out of the sky. Just doing my job, Admiral. I couldn't let innocent lives be lost. I wish every soldier had your definition of just doing your job. You're a credit to the uniform, Shepard. We're in your debt. Fifth fleet out. Um, since you said you're in your debt, I was wondering how difficult it would be to get a slot machine put on the Normandy. Is that possible? Is that okay? Tell me where we're at with that. You're the definition of a ruthless paragon. <laughs> All right, quick save or quick. No, 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 no. Back out, back out, back out. I know in the brackets, you're going to put it in the brackets of it. Wait, back out. Hold on. Uh, retro, what's up? Welcome back in. Uh, at this point, we need a timeout dark pass emote. <laughs> we'll have it like sometimes come in and out. Mm hmm. Slot machines come with a dial that determines the odd chance of winning. Wait, really? And April. April, thank you so much for the four gifted subs to the channel and community. What? Thank you. And London with the gifted sub to Juan and to Zini. Uh, Zina plays. Thank you and welcome in. April, what are you doing? Sure, you don't want to have a Gwent table? I didn't know that was an option. Is that an option? This all goes back to... I don't know how many people were here from two years ago when I did Red Dead. But if you were, you remember. That was where it all started. I think my addiction with playing the board game, like playing poker in Red Dead 2. Yeah, that was it. April, thank you so much. Um... Poker times were fun. All right, guys, let's do a couple more. So what do we got? We got Major Kyle. So we need to go into Hawking's ETA cluster and investigate. Oh, the sentry system in Hawking's. Let's go. Hawking's laboratory. <laughs> Gambling devices are completely fair. Next time you'll tell me carnival games aren't rigged as well. <laughs> Wait, you mean every time I've tried to win the daddy bear, it's rigged and that's why I don't get it? Hawking's. Just like the little claw machines. Sentry. Sentry 21. It was rigged the whole time. The Ethan Hawking's cluster. RDR2 is awesome. One of my favorite games. I wish, Soup. I do wish, like, because you've been here for a long, long time. I wish I had given... I think I did do that game justice, and I enjoyed it, and I had fun with that game. But I do wish that I had done it more in the last, like sense going full time because I think I would have given it even more time and focus whoa we're in century but now oh wherever the landable planet is also let me just circle around this room do you think the aliens would get addicted to gambling are they already there were a decent amount of yeah there were a decent amount of aliens gambling I'd say must be impress I think it's impress which I don't think we landed on this before right I don't think we landed on the smallest one RDR2 has a spooky undead DLC coming out soon to match the first one, right? Wasn't there a first one? It was me. It was only just a dream. Are you thinking of playing it again? I'm kind of at the point with my, my 
my log list in games that I... Wait. Turian wreckage. Uh, it might not be this planet. I don't think right now I see myself going back and doing too, too many replays. The only one that I know for a fact I'm going to be replaying here soon. You almost finished Jedi Survivor? Froggy, that's awesome. That's so cool. Um... Oh, Froggy used to be Frogman. That's what you meant earlier. You changed your name. Um, are you trying to go for 100% by the way? And the only game that I'm going to go back to to replay for YouTube is doing a third playthrough. It's technically a third playthrough, but I never finished my second playthrough of Hellblade. I want to do a Hellblade playthrough before I play the second one. Peach, would you like a late birthday present? Oh my gosh. What are you doing, Raj? Are we playing Marvel soon? Oh my goodness, who brought this up? Major Kyle and his biotic followers. Go to Sentry System. So it could be in here, but hold on. Let me pop back out here. My brain is just catching up. It was only just a dream. Hmm. Let me back out and see if there's another one we can land on. Can we land on this one? Clen? Clen Dagon. Nope. It's got to be that then. Unless they're a derelict, but I don't think it is a derelict, right? And it wasn't this. Yeah. You guys think marbles? Is that what you think I need to cheer me up? <laughs> marbles live action coming next year. It is that. All right. Well, back into it. Bear with the hundred bits. Marbles? No. No. Unless. It has been a while since we played bar marbles. When was the last time we played marbles? If you guys want more marbles games, we have to do more of the, the bets where we change like deaths into marbles or something. I guess I should just go. I, I mean, I reckon the abandoned mining camp might be the best crashed mining engine debris. Biotic compound. Yeah, of course, of course. To all. Oh, look at that. How do you guys like getting dirt in your face? How does it feel? How does it feel? <laughs> like we did with The Witcher, all those marble games we won? Yeah, we'd have to go back. I like it. Let's do it. <laughs> um, But it would have to be HR complaints, but that would be so... We would have to do it going forward. All of the past ones can't be converted to marbles games. But every 10 HR complaints after 53 will equate to one marbles game. No, we can't. You can't go back. You can't. It's not retroactive. I was overwhelmed with all the lore in Jedi Survivor. I just said screw it and I'm doing the story only. Oh, yeah. I mean, there is. Trust me, there's a lot of lore. But even just doing the story, I think you'll so enjoy it. I mean, I can, mm, I don't know if I can say I can confidently do that. This could be the last matriarch, right? No, this is never a matriarch. This is always, um, these are always compounds, but we still need to collect as many compounds as possible. Man, this world sucks. HR complaints, 53 to 200, excuse me. I'm sorry, <laughs> mods? Imagine thinking that your mods are on your side, but being reminded every single stream that they really are just part of part of the ship, part of the crew. They look out more for chat than for me. Ah! I will get there. Oh no, keep going up, keep going up. Okay, go diagonally. Diagonally. KV, have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging out. Guys, I don't think we're gonna do this one. We're united. Whoa. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Wake me up before you go, go. Oh! Oh no. Oh, oh. That was not as bad. Chat feeds us and lets us out of our cage at night. Ah, so it's. That's what's happening. My community is. Is gaining your favor with food? 
inconceivable. Why not use the booster? I, I, I am at... Is that not the booster? Nope. Nope. Don't look at me like that. Don't start. <laughs> Russ, I've been wanting to tell you that for so long. <laughs> oh, okay, this is not gonna, but you still need like good momentum. I cannot even begin to believe this so happy that you're almost at mass effect 2 hopefully dresden <laughs> i think i missed it i missed it no i missed it anna hi i just found out about my boosters oh it's right here it's right here all right let's just walk this way walk this way pov you're playing starfield in 2008 <laughs> oh no <laughs> why because when I <sighs> Does anybody remember me ever accidentally triggering the boost, but then actively forgetting that I had it to begin with? Polonium? Did I ever actually... Boobamon, thank you so much for the donation. I never even accidentally hit it. What? Hallelujah, I found it. <laughs> she did it. But I would like to say... It's kind of impressive to go this long enjoying the exploration of the Mako without the boost. Oh, nope. Okay. I don't trust myself hundreds of times, but didn't notice. No, I did. No, a lot of people are saying I didn't. Me watching this driving. Doesn't it make you want to come visit me, Anna? Mia! Oh, 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 right there. Nice. All right, we're going to get a big one here. Hold on. And I always thought there had to have been a boost. There always needed to be a boost. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I was doing a boostless run. That's exactly what it was, Jack. Okay, but now it's even worse. People were saying use the boosters. I thought you guys were talking about this. In my defense, this is a boost. It's just a boost up. It's not. All right, back it up, back it up. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, there's so many things. I haven't been using the boost this whole time, Childish. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe it. <laughs> I mean, I feel like after this amount of time, everybody in chat can believe it. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm still astounded because I thought at one point I was testing every single button. You know, there was a time that I did accidentally do it. I think there was a time I did it. <gasps> Raj, do Makos come with barf bags asking for a friend? All right. <laughs> Uh, no, I am not, by the way. I think I saw Arari. Arari. Now we know why you aren't a pilot. That, are we shocked that this is a deposit of gold, by the way? This literally reminds me of the first stream ever I came in. Found you driving a car off of a cliff in Uncharted. Your driving is what started it all. <laughs> you did it when I got stuck in Pharos. Yep, I was just about to say that I did it when I was doing all of this different, like all of these chaotic things when I was stuck. Yep. That is true. I actually do remember, like, the first time we had a conversation. The very first time I was driving off a cliff in Uncharted, Anna. I think you had popped in a few times before then, but... It was like, that was the time that I remember. You were trying to pickle floppy the other day. The pickle floppy the other day. Okay, this is locked. We have to go in the other way first. Yeah, I had to have accidentally done it when I got stuck. And then Boobamon, thank you for the hydrate. Oh... <laughs> Um, please 
stand up if you've been personally victimized by trying to share this is a private sanctuary. the fact that Outsiders you can boost and you got timed out here. the first time I got to say hi I have to see Major Kyle I need to talk to the man in charge it's important no Father Biff. Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance I served with him on Torfin Ooh. my name is Commander Shepard Major Kyle knows me I have to speak to him wait Father wait. Kyle will speak with you oh head to the building at the far end of the compound he'll meet you there can I not get in here? Okay. This seems kind of sketchy. Okay. We need a cast as Mako Memories compilation. <laughs> that would be so cool. Just all of the... Also, the fact that there's been like six different times that I've gotten it stuck or messed it up in some way and not been able to come back. Mmm. <laughs> Gotta head to work now. Aries, have a great work day. Thank you for hanging around. Hold on. Oh, biotic cultist. Ah. Uh -huh. Father Kyle says we biotics have to stick together. Are these L twos? Biotics doesn't mean we don't deserve to be treated fairly. Yeah. For I have renegated. Bless me, Father Kyle. For I have renegated. Frogman, I appreciate that. You got to right. You just gotta keep going. Ligster, have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging around. Yeah, it's oddly quiet. It's so quiet. Oh, you came from... Did you come from YouTube then, Arai? The catcher in the rye. Um, thank you so much for popping over here, and I'm glad you enjoyed God of War series. Ah, oh, Kratos. What a man. Ugh. Father Kyle says we biotics have to stick together. I loved that story. Now, every time I think of a game, I want to go back to it. That's what happens. L2 is just like Caden. Mm. What a man. <laughs> yeah, I feel like before I was all about Sonon in the DLC of FF7, but I gotta be honest. Although most people would think Clive for me, it's definitely, is it Cav? Is that his name? No, not Cav. Not Gav. No, Cav. What's the other guy? Is it Cav? Sid. I was telling Anne about this the other day, that Sid is the I know you, the butcher oh. of Torfen. Why have you come here, Shepard? Why can't you leave us alone? What happened to those other Alliance uh... officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. So you killed them. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. Very cultish. Um, absolutely. I would love to, if Dragon Age is like this, but fantasy, um, and shares a lot of similarities, 100% I'd love to do it in the future. Sid's voice. I think it's all Sid's voice. But then also how he looks. Yeah, it's a little combination. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you are endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. Ooh, the way that his voice changed there. My children will be helpless. He kind of had a little... <laughs> you can't help them now. You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins too? No, this, this was my fault. My children mm. are innocent, pure. Please, I never meant for this to happen. I, I'm sorry. I must have a way with words. I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I do because I cheated that part, but. I know this isn't You're doing easy. the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on. And Wait, it didn't end if in my bloodshed. You're taking me away. They won't understand. They will attack, and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. But then what will they I do? You, my word. you know, like, what will they do? <laughs> I missed the Demi-Tarja already. <laughs> I believe you. I'm gonna trust you. 
If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. Your mm. pilot can have an Alliance Command Patrol pick Major Kyle up. Okay, Paragon plus eight. I you know what you're doing, Shepard. You should return to the Normandy and notify the Alliance of Kyle's surrender. They'll want to dispatch a ship and take him into custody. I've had too many times where people have ended up dead because I haven't had the ability to sway them otherwise, so. I love, like, games like this in Fallout New Vegas where you do have a certain bar that you fill. Or, like, it's a skill check, right? Mmm. I appreciate that. I love getting the ravens. That's one of my favorite parts in the series. Where, I'm sorry, did you come from Ragnarok or was it Ragnarok or was it, um... If you try to take Father Kyle away from us, you'll end up like those other Alliance soldiers. Is that so? They're not gonna let me do it, but you know what I want if I could. Dead Maul. Dead Maul. Thank you so much for five whole years. Five years of LOLs and maybe three other words in the entire five years. But thank you for always supporting and believing in me. Holy cow. Thank you. That's like the fifth five years. Like, it's, it's surreal to see how many of you guys have been around since the very beginning. He doesn't seem to be confident about his response. I'm... He was a little shaky on that one. Absolutely. Dead Maul is cast as Groot then? Yes. Yes. Dead Maul's Groot is lol. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Dead Maul, thank you. That's crazy. Five years and you still hate love. All right. All right. We're getting back to the Normandy. Oh, it was from Ragnarok. Awesome. Yeah, I, I'm glad to see you enjoyed that playthrough. I will always have a special place in my heart for Kratos' story. And I think with that one, I find it so interesting that I'm so connected to the story, having not played the older games when I was younger. Even without playing the older games a long time ago, I still just feel like that whole series has grown really well. I feel like what they've done with God of War is such a great showcase of how to bring a series into um like i say the modern age but just kind of having it grow with their audience i think is a better way to put it father kyle needed for an hour to one last cult party before he surrendered he's throwing one last one yeah i think it's really important too and i think they also brought in they revived it also for a whole new wave of gamers too and not just the people that played it when it first came out She's very hard to read. I'm only 16% of the way there myself. Don't worry. <laughs> she either wants a threesome or nothing. I don't get it. Oh my gosh. Anna constantly says this. She's like, every single conversation we have feels like we're talking about the same things, but is so different at the same time. And to this day, even after a year, she never knows. You never know. <laughs> you still can't work me out. Eliminate the crime lords. Okay, this is another hostile takeover. What do you guys say we do about two more side missions? No, I'm still doing major. Oh, I just got to return to the Normandy. Message and coming there in. There we go. Patching it through. There we go. Admiral Hackett here. Commander. Gets one more round. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. Is it happening? We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. Hmm. I actually, or I, I actually can see that point as well. I think if that's your, if that's your first exposure to him, obviously my exposure to God of War was playing 2018 and then going back and then Ragnarok. But I can see how some people prefer him how he was in the originals, because um, in a way that feels more like him. I guess I liked, I love family relationships in games and how they display that. And so I really liked the introduction of his son and then how that story developed. But I totally can see your point of view too. Who's the robotic old guy? Hack it? Hack it out. Uh, Sergeant, thank you for the follow and welcome in. Or Surgeon. Sir John? Tameless. Uh, we need to get all the way back. Yeah, I like seeing growth in characters, so character arc and character growth are huge for me, especially with forming an attachment to the character. All right, 
Oh my gosh, look at all the side quests going away. And I actually think for the most part, most of these are the main side quests. Because a lot of these we picked up by exploring the galaxy. Yeah, his voice is Carl. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't see hacked in person at any point, right? I'm not trying to spoil stuff myself. I'm not sure. I don't think we've figured that out yet, but I hope we do. But I just picture him as Carl. Locate signs of battle. <gasps> That's so close. We have one more. Oh, we have one more Solar or League medallion. Was Kratos most powerful, but there's something so compelling and heavy about an older, weathered, grounded Kratos. Yeah, he's come so far from where he started. Truly perfect example of character growth. Yeah. Um, going back through and playing the originals endeared his character to me. I, I actually love getting to experience him in 2018, not knowing his past, and then going back and seeing his past. Like, it just further endeared him to me even more. Yeah, Joker is Chris Griffin. Turbo. <laughs> Turbo also almost four years. Like, what? We're on our way to four years? Or three years? No, four years. Yeah. Turbo, thank you so much for all the support for so many years. Just thank you. I only, the only God of War games I didn't 100% were Ghost of Sparta and 2. It was good times, challenging the gods. Um, I haven't played the other two. After 1 through 3, what are the other two games? Or were there three other weird ones? I'm late and I haven't seen any past streams. Did you choose Caden or Ashley? I chose Ashley because Ashley was with the Solarians. And also because Caden. Uh, valuable Turian insignias we're getting close to. A sorry de wait! Oh! We need to go to the Citadel and tell Nasana that her sister Dahlia is dead. Okay. Presidium level of the Citadel. Okay, let's go back to the Citadel. Yeah, let's just kind of clean up some of these side missions and prep us to be ready for Saturday with main quests. I want to be able to go forward to Saren with good conscience that I've tried to complete as many side quests as possible. Oh, I didn't mean to completely leave. Definitely impressed at all the old school subs here. Casting must be doing something, right? It's, um, it's really special to see years of support. You know, like, it's, it's easy to see people come through for one game or stuff, but to see the amount of people that have stuck around through countless games and a lot of like older, like older than three years, that was during like my soul's time. So to see, I always like, can't, I can't overstate how cool it is to feel like I'm growing up with you guys. Like, and there's been a lot of growth. There has been a lot of growth in the last five years. Wish I knew when I first started watching your stream, I look occasionally for years. I spent a long time. It's been a long time. Wait, am I here right now? Oh, can I not? Oh, wait, you can't go. Of course I can't go back to the Citadel. <laughs> Hold up. We'll have to come back later. Yeah, the place I just broke out of, I want to get back into, you know? Uh, yeah. Tracking now, tracking. Yeah, um, all right. I think I'm saying this right. I, um did the OG last year and then I played the new one and both those are on the VOD channel. So if you came from the Let's Play channel, I have a whole VOD channel that is all of my past streams and those are broken out into the different games as well. Um, again, I know it's a little bit different, but yes, I played the OG then came back. Huge blonde moment. Mm, my blonde is growing out, but it survives still. <laughs> I've browsed through many streamers here on Twitch. Has the best attitude and the only one I supported. I appreciate that. I mean, I think that while I do appreciate that, there are so many incredible streamers out there. And it's also, it is, even after five years on this platform, I still am discovering new people that were around way longer than even I was. Because the way that the Twitch like algorithm works and what they recommend to you is so easy to miss people for years. Um, it always wants to show you people that are playing similar games as you, but yeah, I'm constantly running into whole new people. And I think that's why a lot of people come in and they're like, oh, I, I didn't even know you've been around. And it's just the way that Twitch displays or recommends, I guess. Uh, Nell and also Phoenix, guys, thank you for the follows. I'm ignoring Anna. No, we're ignoring her. And I thank you for the 100 bits. Um, yeah, we'll talk about this later kind of crazy it looks like i'm gonna be busy on september uh 20th i think i <laughs> it's 
It's so weird. I am washing my hair that day, Anna. Sorry. Um, okay, let's see. We are doing Geth Incursions. Gosh, that's just... I think that one was so frustrating, though. <laughs> I'm breathing that day. Sorry, I'm busy breathing that day. <laughs> I didn't know about you until you started me. Saw the recommended list and ta-da. <laughs> yeah, I think it's so based on games and also, like... I think a lot of times people will find people that are playing like whatever game is, I, I, like I say, trending. Um, it's kind of like a term for like dead games. These games are still very much alive, but you don't have a, a swarm of people playing them, right? And so it's very rare that I like go into games that have just come out. And so I think that's a reason why um, a lot of people don't find me as well is because I'm playing like older school games. Sartorial, Sartorial, welcome back in. YouTube has been bananas though, and I think that's where it, like the community's grown insanely on this side as well from that. Um, I found your VOD channel during Elden Ring. Never got to catch the live streams, just a lurky turkey. Oh man, I loved Elden Ring. That was last year, right? It feels like it feels so much longer than that though. Like every time I think I've been here for five years, it feels like I've been doing it for, I don't know, a second, but at the same time, I feel like I've been doing it for forever. Twitch after seeing someone do Witcher 3 for the first time on YouTube. Oh, you joined the streamer and went on a break to see who it was and been hooked up for since. It will get you. And then if you get gifted a sub, you're stuck. Like you're stuck. YouTube probably helps a lot with exposure because the videos will always stay up. Yeah. And I think that I also have, I think with YouTube, I'm constantly challenging myself by playing different games that I've never thought or have wanted to play on stream. So. That's exactly why I did Final Fantasy. I never thought I would play that series. So you can ask Soup. You could ask anybody who's been here for a long time. I used to say like, no, not really my thing. Like, not my thing. People find streamers by accident, I think. Absolutely. You were looking for the OG Final Fantasy playthrough. Instead, ended up on the remake, <laughs> which I really want to go back to some of the some of the other ones. Lewis, you found through Last of Us. Last of Us was great. Oh. I love both sides. Like, I, I can't stress enough how much I'm enjoying getting to do both. Um, and I think I'm balancing them fairly well. I mean, I always would love to be doing just as much or like putting out, I guess, longer videos for YouTube. Um, but at the same time, it's it's kind of challenging. It's challenging, like balancing both of them, but with YouTube getting ahead. Like I'm always constantly going week by week. You were just randomly recommended, was I? Is that how you found me, Anna? Greybok. Greybok, welcome back in. And thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs to the channel. Cottom got one. And anybody else that got one, please give Greybok a big thank you. This is what I told you. Now you're stuck. It happens. I'll forever resent Anonymous for offering the first sub. Haha, <laughs> it wasn't you. My favorite game. Um. I've been on Twitch since 2015, 16. Crazy to think that I've been here that long. It doesn't feel like it, right? I would give anything to watch your first Souls games again. That's the only bummer about all of this is I don't have a lot of my early on VODs um, or early on playthroughs, but I'm also okay with that too. I'm, I'm okay with it. I think it's like anybody, any of us, I think, look back on how we were and we're like, ooh, like teenage angsty cast of, ooh. Found your stream back when you were playing Dark Souls, but I only stopped lurking. Wait, here when you were playing Outer Worlds last year? You found the stream all the way back when I was playing Souls games? How can I not remember that? Never used to watch on Twitch or streamers before YouTube. I really appreciate these kind words, you guys. Been hooked ever since. <laughs> you did say that, War. You did say that. That's so true. My favorite game. So for the longest time, yeah, falky has been here since 2020. That was two years after I started. I never typed anything back then. I lurked for years. And that's not like, that's true to this day. Like there are so many people that are also lurky turkeys. Um, and I, th I know a little bit of it is because of the verification. Like I know that that, that blocks some people from being able to talk. Um, but it also like the, the protection that it provides as much as I don't like blocking people out from being able to type unless they verify it also helps I think keep out a lot of trolls and um, some of the negative side of of twitch but it still gets through as you can tell 
I found your YouTube channel first when I watched the VOD channel, and that's how I found the Twitch channel. It also just feels like such a cozy place here, and it, like, I've only been able to do it for as long as I have because of y'all, and because of how the whole community is felt. The recommended, the lurky turkey, Lund it's the lurky turkey, it'll happen. I always love when I see you guys go from lurky turkey, and I can tell by the resubs, and then you say something. It's like a process. You slowly come out from the shadows. <laughs> ah, it keeps the trolls away. Well, not troll biscuits, but it keeps... There's dark sides to everything, right? Uh, Anna found you last month. Anna, actually, I don't even know who that is. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go into... Oh, investigate samples. Okay. Matano system and Maroon Sea cluster. Go to the system. Maroon C. Who's y'all? Have we met him? <laughs> Who's y'all? Definitely couldn't be me. Absolutely is you. Here's <laughs> looking at you. No troll biscuits. Maroon C. But it's anywhere within the Maroon C cluster? Oh, uh, there we go. Mentano. Mentano? Hmm. I can't tell, actually. I haven't noticed any malcontent since I started watching. Uh, yeah, I think for the most part, my my mods do a fantastic job at, at keeping a lot of the riffraff out and stuff, but I mean, it's the same reason why this recent thing is so alarming is because I just, like, I really, really try to make this content focused around gaming, you know? Um, and so I feel like because of that it's st it stayed like that for so long, I've been able to do it for this long and I've wanted to do it um, because I have had boundaries in place. What even is an Anna? What's an Anna? <laughs> I never understood the attraction of sticking with a particular streamer or following one over uh, uh, time. Always just watched a playthrough and moved on until now. Wait, that makes me so glad to hear that. Um, I think that's why a lot of people, it is really hard to be a like quote unquote variety streamer. Um, and I think it all comes down to like what you're looking for. I tell you guys all the time, like it's not followers, it's about building a community. Um, I think that we always talk about how there's a lot of negatives to online uh, communities and there is always gonna be toxicity, but at the same time, I think everybody, no matter what stage in your life you are, you go through bouts of loneliness. And for me, like when I was in high school, I definitely had that and finding like an online community helped immensely. And so I think it all matters of like what you want to get out of this. I found it because of Anna. She raided you and I was a part of the raid. Cobra, you, I forgot you came from Anna. And Eric Miller, yes, having fun, welcome in. Um, except Darpass, he keeps getting timed out. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> the riffraff is very good. Hmm. Uh, I'm inside of here, so now I need to go find the research center? Oh yeah, I never answered my favorite game, I'm sorry. Apo. I guess it's any- oh, it would be the only landable one, right? So, oh! For the longest time, Rocky Asteroid? <gasps> wait! Oh, Prothean Data Dist. Uh, wait, is that the last one? Let me, let me go into it. Um, for the longest time, I would always say Fable. But that is not true. As of the beginning of this year, I am happy to report that my new all-time favorite game is Witcher 3. Is Witcher 3. For now. For now. Let me say. Uh, also, trivial with the gifted sub to Troll Biscuits from the Troll Biscuit himself. Lucas, thank you so much for the reset for six months in a row. And Turbo with the gifted sub to Baby Shark. I, it was Gwent 3. Yeah, it was a lot to do with Gwent, let's be honest. Um, mine isn't what the streamer is playing, it's the person's personality, which is why I'm here to this day. Dark Raven, I still remember your kind message from. I feel like that was almost a year ago now. OGRE4? OGRE4. Um, yeah, well, I feel like if you want to... I don't know. I, 
if you want something to feel like a com like a community then it's often impacted by seeing like the same people time and time again um but it also is like i look at this as your favorite coffee shop right like there's times where you guys might not pop in here for months but then you come back and we're gonna remember you and a lot of people in the community will remember you um and so i feel like it's just nice to know that you have a place to come back to whenever maybe things get a little bit tougher or whenever you feel a little bit lonely or you just want to laugh like it's just like lord knows we need to laugh more all right i'm gonna hop over here to the debris and then we're gonna go to this question mark oh it's the anomaly is this the planet that i hate it is the planet i hate i feel like people don't go to like coffee shops as much as they used to but if you know what you know what i know or if you know it you know what i mean i just there's I felt like I went to coffee shops when I was younger more, but it's that cozy place. And that's why I picked, that is actually why I picked the fireplace for the background when I did that is I wanted it to just feel very warm. I want it to always feel very warm. Like a little ray of sunshine that turns you into a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> I'm a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> if you know, then you know. And if you don't know, now you know. Reading in a coffee shop will always be a vibe, especially in fall. Like, I know that we always meme about pumpkin spice lattes and things like that, but... <laughs> See, this is what I wanted to feel like every time you pop in a stream. This is it. <laughs> London, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Master Punk as well. Thank you. I did for a short time, Mirai. Shoe fly, don't bother me. I have not heard that in so long. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Oh, I'm not gonna kill any monkeys. I don't even think that I want it to be blinding. <laughs> I swan me, Bob. I want it to be blinding. <laughs> Fall and winter coffee shops are an absolute vibe. I actually will put that on my TV sometimes when I'm like getting some work done is I'll just put on, you know, like those YouTube videos that are always going and it just has some light jazz, like coffee house. <gasps> Look at the floofies. Um, the coffee house jazz with a little bit of a thing in the background just nice and cozy pumpkin spice i wish i could do pumpkin spice lattes but pumpkin tea is really good too like a cinnamon tea i'd be lying if i said i don't sometimes dabble in a pumpkin spice latte or like a pumpkin flavored coffee drink even with the pain from my gut like i still take it because i love it so much you do lo-fi videos for that? Yes. Um, and also, if nobody's ever done this, I also recommend Spotify or on YouTube, but I looks threw deserted. on... I have a bad feeling about this. I don't think it God, looks deserted. God, mercy. The entire colony must have been transformed. Oh, I don't think it looks deserted. Oh. I played this coffee shop videos before I found Twitch. It's, uh, it's really nice. I like just having noise on if I'm working from home or... Even before like doing this full time, like I love just having some kind of noise on. A lot of times I'll have my my Googles uh, connecting and like playing some kind of music throughout the house. This planet drove me nuts. Was this the one that you guys said you hated the most? And I did it without even boosting? I did it without boosters? That must have drove you guys insane. Cobb's Bakery, what's Cobb's Bakery? Oh, I love a good bakery. I think I love winter and fall the most just because I crave like warm things like warm soup, warm, oh, like a panini or like something about it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's just make them fly here for a second. Let's do the time warp again. Hold up. I didn't singularity any of them. Mmm. Yes, reason. Oh, I didn't finish what I was going to say. Yeah, just throw on the Mass Effect um, planet music. And I got so much done the other day. So much. All right, we're going to override this. We're going to override that. We're going to do this. Oh. 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 All right, I think he's dead. Uh, I use the fall and winter scented candles year round. I do too, Zook. I was saying that I do those, um, I do the plug, um, what are they called? Wallflowers from 
Bath and Body Works, I think. Cast, I have something to tell you. This person, Anna Dimitri, is not following your channel. I think it deserves a ban. <laughs> oh my goodness. I actually think it deserves a ban too. I agree. Time out sounds right. Big fan of fall and winter. It's the perfect, just cozy vibe. And also I feel like the best, I love when the leaves change. I love when the leaves change. I feel like that's when I hang out with friends the most as well. Something about the fall and winter just brings everybody together. Apple orchard, apple picking, stone cold coder, yes. Even pizza tastes better. Taco Bell tastes better in the fall. I think if I had to pick a season, fall is gonna be it. But not for pumpkin spice reasons. But fun fact, they serve pumpkin bread all year round at Starbucks and it's fabulous. This year is gonna be my first time making my own pumpkin bread because I haven't done it before. I've been doing a lot of banana bread and I've done a few zucchini breads, which I love zucchini breads, so good. But I'm gonna make a pumpkin bread this year. No chocolate. I mean, look, I love chocolate as much as the next person. Not as much as the next person, but I do love it. But there shall be no chocolate. And hoodies and flannels, yeah. I would just wear flannels all year round. Colony of the dead. Okay, so now we need to, oh, wait, is this one done? Yeah, this one's done. So now let's go to find your way through a hostile transformed colonist while searching for the survivors and clues. Wait, no, so I went to the system. I'm searching for clues still to this day. Pumpkin bread stream. Pumpkin bread stream. That would be kind of cool. I've never done, I haven't done a baking stream in like years. I think the last time I did it was for my two year anniversary, three year anniversary. T-shirts and cargo pants, even in winter. I will be the first to say that I definitely wear flip-flops in the winter. Tim Curry and what? Wait, wait. I saw a Rocky Horror Picture Show. Is also the VA in Dragon Age Origins? Tim Curry is a VA in Dragon Age? Sorry to like get so astounded by that. But I didn't know that he did voices in games. What? I also want to see his version of it. I have not seen him as Pennywise the Clown, and I feel like I'm going to be terrified. My favorite role that he ever plays in is in Muppet Treasure Island. <laughs> it's so fabulous. Boots, jeans, flannels. Exactly. And mountains. It's got to be mountains. I did not know that. Yes, we should do movie night for it. You know you're from Minnesota if you wear shorts in the winter. Minnesota. Go to the anomaly. This isn't X'd out, though. It appears like there's still more for us to explore. Or... No, I think it's good. Oh, it's because we're right there and we need to go to here. So go to the debris. Did I not go to the debris already? Did I go to the debris and not look at it? They've gotten really big names in video games recently. Yeah. Darpass is calling me out. It's okay. I don't expect her to. I know even if she's not following, I'm always recommended top for her. Tim Curry is Young Justice in Chef's Kit. Is just wait in Young Ju What is Young Justice? What? Minnesota. <laughs> uh. Also, uh, she knows my schedule, so. She knows what I'm streaming no matter what. And yes, Muppet Treasure Island is amazing. <laughs> Never run with scissors. <laughs> I haven't seen that in so long though. Hmm. What is in Command and Conquer? I'm going to space and this one place not corrupted. Is space, I <laughs> feel like I'm not, a, I don't think that's happening. I bought for 240, could sell for Wait, wait, for over four? For what? Wait, what'd you buy for 240? Also, why am I not boosting? Love Chicken, what's up? Welcome back in. He's best known in the video game for Command and Conquer. Red Alert, yeah, I've never, I mean, I've heard of Command and Conquer, but Minnesota. I also, you're probably, if you're from North Dakota, I feel like you also probably just wear shorts in winter. Or honestly, Chicago, let's be honest. If you're from Chicago, you're probably so used to cold weather. Mm. Anna's always watching. 
watching. I hope you have a fabulous night. Thank you for tuning in and hanging around and just the kind words as well. All right. Oh, how could I have missed this? It's not that bad. I, it's like mild weather all year round, depending on where you're at. What's wrong with loving? I, I knew I personally attacked someone with that one. Um, also, McGee, hi. I, I know, I know. I lurked for a year since 2021. I came out for RE4 September last year. It took one stream for me to come back here. And I'm to oh, sorry, but yes. Thank you, Dark Raven. And also, Naughty Peach, I hope you have a fabulous Friday. Thank you for hanging around um, and just being here and for the support. Young Justice is more darker and edgier of the Teen Titans. It's a Teen Titan thing? Did they just create that more recently? I'm not gonna make it. You know what? I'm feeling a little like 20 Omni ride. Just do it. Just spend it. Just send it. There's nothing wrong with liking the cold. That's what I'm saying. Like, I love the cold. Entire series on origin. Oh, I think I need to go into the facility. Also, the question mark is over there. What? Recover the crate? Oh, come on. That was so close. Nice. Prothean data disk. Oh, that's what we were going to look up was Prothean data disk, and I didn't do it. It appears to be in excellent condition. Prothean data disk. Shovel my driveway in flip flops. In shorts. Shorts and flip flops. Oh, man. It was my first experience with your 16, uh, 12 games of Christmas. 12 games of Christmas. It was interesting to say the least. This year I've already, I have most of the games picked out. I don't like cold, which is an ideal for where you are. Exactly. I love the cold until your eyelashes stop functioning. Do you remember my Alaska picture from this last year? My lashes were gone. All that was replaced was icicles. It was so cold, my lashes had individual little icicles. Uh, we are super close. Let me go to side assignments. Also, Colony of the Dead. We still need to search for clues. <laughs> League medallions. What is it? Oh, look at our medals, though. They're getting so close. We're getting so close. Wait. Does the Prothean data just not collect? October is going to be fun. October is going to be fun. I'm not saying any of the games yet. But I think you guys will enjoy both October immensely. And 12 games. All right, Dark Raven. Mmm, they were eye-clashes. They were eye-icicles. They were icicles. Eyelashicles. Yes. Basilius, what's up? Welcome back in. I'm ready to troll this 12 years of Christmas. You guys do a great job at, at stopping it, I will say. All right, so fight your way through the hostile transformed colonies, colonists while searching for survivors and clues. That means there has to be another one here on the map. Civilian structure, escape pod, civilian structure, science facility. Do you reckon we just have to go back to all these individual spots to finish out this quest? Do I have all of the October cosplays figured out? I have more than what's needed because I'm also doing them for YouTube. So yes, that actually does remind me that because of the way it works for, because of the way of my recording schedule for YouTube, I think stream is going to reflect October spookiness in September. I think just when September hits, we're going to have spooky vibes in the channel, like as far as background goes. It's stacked with VA cast. It's insane. Yeah, I haven't looked into it. This is where we were before, right? This is where we were before. This might not be the right spot to be. Mmm. Roomba. Uh, I grow mine out as well seasonally. <laughs> this was the destination, but I think we want to head over to this one. Civilian structure and then the science facility behind it. Yeah. Had awful dialogue. It's gonna be very spooky. It's spooktober, September and October both. Hmm? Hold up. Okay, I don't see anybody here right now. Oh, but I do see, okay, it's not here, but I see uh, enemies up ahead.
up for hours. Nefarious. It was very spooky. Wait, what is it about? Without spoiling it, what's it about? Only to this day have I regretted ever watching really one movie ever. Nefarious. I haven't been keeping up on watching too many spooky games that, or movies. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye now. It always shocks me still. Um, Terrifier 2. Terrifier 1 and Terrifier 2, but Terrifier 2 specifically. Madison was horrifying. Movie Nightmare. Didn't we watch Nightmare Before Christmas last year? Or maybe I watched that by myself. Or did we watch that together? No, we watched the Halloweens. We did Halloweens, then we did Freddy vs. Jason. Maddie. Uh, Maddie movie. Madison movie. Coming out 2023. <laughs> I wouldn't see it. If I saw blue knees, if I saw somebody dressed up... I forgot. You guys have to remind me that I need to do... I need to do... The Nightmare Fuel costume. That will be my attempt at doing blue knees. I need to do this. I'm gonna look like a combination between like a Blue's Clues character and Squidward. Oh my gosh. I hate this. I know. I'm gonna have to get a the bald cap. Nice. Oh! Liara, you're scaring me. Alright, overdrive, and then let's do overload and then marksman. Marksman. Are those insta-kills? Just about. Overload is broken. Mm. I just got another achievement, but I don't know what it was for. Kill him! Nice. It'll be more terrifying than an accurate cosplay. Exactly. Perimeter clear. <laughs> exactly. No, I don't have that much level of commitment, candidate. It would just be a bald cap, but... I don't have that Natalie Portman level commitment. Mm. All right, that means, let me see. Search for clues. So I think there's some more stuff in here, but then that should be it. Halloween 2018 movie night this year. 2018, yes, but uh, oh, maybe even the second one. But we are definitely not watching the third one. There's no part of me that wants to see that. Yeah, look, exclamation mark. Beef for Vendetta is fantastic. What stream will it be because I won't be there? What do you mean? You said you're the one asking for it and then you're not even gonna show up to see the horrific <laughs> tale of blue knees. Blue knees are in the Oh, come on. Oh, I gotta be faster. Devil Rejects or Hills Have Eyes are horrible movies, but they're both good. I have not seen either of them. I haven't seen Hills Have Eyes. But I remember... <laughs> The hills are alive. Oh, a colonial pioneer team rarely consists of more than a few dozen specialists. It's clear that none of them have survived. The Cerberus group has a lot of ants. Oh, a lot to answer for here. I was wondering if we were gonna go back to the Cerberus. Yeah, more Cerberus stuff. That probably completes the round as well. Is that done? Hostile takeover, yep. Yep, y'all. Now there is another facility and we're gonna have to finish this. Did you watch Wednesday? I did, but there's not a season two, right? Halloween ends was a collective fever dream. It wasn't even about him. That's the part that bothers me more than anything. Cerberus. TJ, thank you for the stretch. I feel really good about this, you guys. I think we have a lot of side quests done. I can't sprint right here. Oh, I love Janet. She's been in a lot of horror movies, actually. Isn't she the... She's one of the main girls in Scream as well. The Scream reboot? Mm-hmm. And then she also... Did she play maybe a side character in... She's been in a couple other horror movies as side characters. I'm trying to think which one. She was in X, but I think she was also in... Did you guys see the one... Um, it's kind of like Freaky Friday, but it's swapping bodies of a horror, like a serial killer. And then this girl who's in high school, it was with, um, who's that funny actor? Um, but I felt like she was there. 
Spazzy, have a good lurk. Thank you so much for hanging around. Vince Vaughn. Yes, how could I forget his name? Thank you. Here, welcome in, by the way. Yes, Vince Vaughn. He was fantastic. That was such um. That has to be, like, just a really fun role to play for him to get to act out like a teenage girl. Plus, does he have kids, too? Should we tell her? What? What do you mean? What did I do? Did I not really investigate it? We have to go to Vostok too. What did I do? Don't actually tell me. I forgot there's a new exorcist. Isn't it a TV series? You Didi, what did I do? Did I save over something? Did I not save? No, that was what I saved. Okay, don't answer it. Um, wait, wait, wait. Chaska. We do have to go to a different one, though. Yes, it does have the mom from the original. Ah. Uh, there are three engineers missing. Himes, Mendel, and Montoya. Montoya. Where is his father? Uh, you found the body of... Okay, so I found the body of Mendel. On the surface of X-57? I don't remember where X-57 is. X-57. You killed my father. Prepare to die. X-57? I'd assume that's a planet. If it says on the surface of. Is it in local cluster? No, local, no. It is awesome. Is that DLC stuff? Cause then maybe we shouldn't do it just yet. Didn't I go to X57 once? Yeah, I think that's, I think that's DLC. I think Halloween Ends was an awful movie. I wish we got more Michael instead of Corey. Corey. The quarry. Inconceivable. The DLC asteroid. Yes, which we have been at a few times. South of Novaria, if I recall. I, I mean, know that I can still do DLC stuff. We've done it before. Because let's see, the only other one, so basically, wow, we've done a lot of side missions actually over the... I don't feel like I've done this. I don't feel like I've done all of this, but I guess I have been productive. It's crazy to think, but uh, yeah. The asteroid you saved from the Batarians. Yes, 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 yes. It's 24. So this one is going to come down to finding the last League medallion. We've got... I know what we need to do. I know what you did last summer. Hold on. Yeah, I definitely went to the asteroids, yeah. Who's Lehi? Um... It's different when you when you accidentally stumble upon it and then when you intentionally go to it. We need to go to Hawk. And also DJ Khaled and Luis's Luis's. Thank you guys for the follows and welcome in. I also have a hydrate from Cassie. Ooh. One cannot forget. I still know what you did last summer. Wow, you can't land on Vermeer anymore. Vermeer. Namada? Jaffa. Can you not land on any of the planets here? Oh yeah, to be fair, I did nuke it. Yeah, good point, good point. Good point. Jargon, what's up? Welcome back in. All right, to be fair, uh, it is gone, but I feel like it shouldn't pop up on my map anymore. Well, I was trying to find this last, the last melon. Where would it be? I'd have to go back through all of these systems to find it. How many planets have I, and only one. I think only one. Forger, thank you for the follow, welcome in. All right, back to the missions. So long story short, we have one more league medallion. We need to find more minerals, Turian emblem. We could do Geth, but I think I'm gonna have to floppy pickle that. 
The rogue has taken over the alliance. Wait, what is this? Destroy conduits? Um, soul system in the local cluster. Deal with the rogue. Oh, let's go to the moon. To the moon. Oh, such a great game. If you guys have never played to the moon, do it. Do it. What are you doing right now? Go play. We're going to find some food. That is why Aries had said that. I did forget about that. And I think as far as where it is, to the moon. I'm gonna have to floppy pickle the Geth incursions. Oh, I don't think you have to floppy pickle. I'll go back, I'll go back because the reality is gone. We'll cast to celebrate when you reach 50K. I don't know, I have, I, I kind of just, I don't do like major celebrations for that stuff. Obviously it's a huge deal. Um, but uh, I don't think we're gonna do anything like special, but I definitely will say a big thank you. Uh, on to the moon, to the moon, to the moon. Earth, where's my moon? Oh, it's over there, it's, it's so tiny. You can hardly see it. 50 hour stream. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Only if you want a lot of crying, that is true. Save your game halfway through the moon mission. What do you mean? Bunch of new HR complaints. XPS, welcome back in. Yeah, Ginger's birthday stream is in 12 days, y'all. 12 days. Which works out perfectly because that week we'll do a Tuesday stream and then I'm not doing a Saturday stream because it's my dad's birthday. Save. To the moon. I mean, I guess I just need to go back to these places. Simba the cat again. Should we bring Simba back out? A lot of people don't probably remember Simba. Herb, thank you for the hydrate. Mmm. We can find weirder cat games. Floppa. I love how it, AAA publishers are scared of, uh, to death of BG3. What, has it up the ante or something? Five Nights of Floppa. <laughs> Thanks, over Salads. Yeah, Five Nights at Floppy. Floppy Pickles? Five Nights at Floppy Pickles? That's not what we're looking for. Oh, I should go to the red dots. Also, what am I doing? Boost us over it. Those aren't red dots. So that means we need to go over here. Alliance Training Ground. And then what is the mission we're doing? Uh, conduits. Destroy the conduits. This way. Publishers like, don't expect this to be the new standard. That's kind of how I feel about the cutscenes in FF16. I feel like it is upped the ante. America. Breloom. Welcome back in, by the way. USAF. Do you have to sing at the job interview? For what? Wait, what? You've almost read the moon missions in your journal like 10 times since you left the moon earlier. You don't think you have a mission yet. Wait, wait, wait. You've almost read the moon mission in your journal like 10 times since you left the moon earlier thinking you didn't have a mission yet. Yes. I guess it, it must spawn in your journal as soon as you get here in the first place. Earth is beautiful from here. Yeah, it's gorgeous. How, ma how massive is the effect today? Get out, get out, get out. But I never did anything. That's the weird part. With some games costing 200 million, taking over five years to develop, it might not be sustainable long term. I also think that it is really easy to feel like you have to meet the like bar that another company has created. But I'm telling you right now, guys, some of my all-time favorite games of the past couple years have been small games. They might not be like anything wowzer, but the story is incredible. And that's enough for me. Whoa. Spawn in in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Override it. Override it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Move. Move. Kakashi. Oh. You 
got it before you went to the moon. I had it before. Whoa. I had it before I even went to the moon. These things are not to be trifled with. Singularity? I don't. Can you even singularity them? I guess you can. Hmm. The tennis had great stuff and it's not chasing cutting edge technology. Here's the thing, right? That stuff is all great. I kind of look at it like bells and whistles. Um, cause you can have the most beautiful graphics, but if your story falls flat for me, it's not, it is not the bees. Things. I think everybody just wants to make something that people, like something that people talk about. There's truly unique, like indie games. Exactly, Sha. Mm. Production doesn't equate to the enjoyable gaming experience. Also think about it, like an indie game is typically cheaper. You don't have to invest as much time. I don't know if that's like an attraction or not for you. Okay, so I'm not breaking these. Shadow complex? I don't know what that is. There's passion and creativity that's sometimes missing from bigger stories. The thing about it is, right? Look at Diablo. Like right now, it's just a really interesting time to watch the gaming industry. Diablo, or at least from like a content creator perspective as well. Diablo is a massive game, right? And I feel like that maybe was really big all of three weeks and then Baldur's Gate hit. And then what you like, this will stay relevant for a while. But I also feel like at the same time, oh, I went in here and I never destroyed them. I feel like at the same time, it's just like the community is always just hungry for the next the next big game. So which will be Starfield. So I feel like everybody's going to leave those to play Starfield. Will people still play it? Absolutely. Like tons of people are still going to play it. And D4 is an unfinished game, so people will continue to go back Ready. to it with patches and things like that. I don't understand. There's something I'm not doing here. Don't tell me. It's got a, the VI conduit. Toxic gas is being vented into the bunkers. So I saw these before and I just didn't think to try to kill them. Should have waited till after Path of Exile 2. Big box games are pressured for completion and release. Yeah. I, I can't help but feel like our consumption and like need for something new is also a big part of it. Open it with scare. Wait, sorry, what? Canada? Canada? Hmm. I think that's why like I no longer feel this pressure to play newer games because I feel like as soon as they like even though they'll be big when they first come out like it's gonna subside and there's another big thing and then if I feel like I always have to play the next newest thing then I feel like that's gonna reflect in my in my content as in like I'm gonna be rushing so like if I were rushing this game to make sure that I could play Starfield right when it came out I would be doing a disservice to this game I think BG3 will be played and talked about for years. Streamers will drop it because it just happens, but people will play it for a long time. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, no, no. I know people will continue to play it for a long time. I think maybe too, a lot more of my observing has come from the view of me doing this full time now. I think before I didn't pay as much of attention to what everybody else was playing, but I've done a lot more like I've, I've made a lot more like friends in this past year since doing this full time as well. And so I'm always observing it a little bit more as well. I guess we should, I guess you don't have to kill the power junction, but. <laughs> Alan Wake 2 is gonna come to PC. Did you say what? Mm? Wait, what did you say, Zook? Wait, where'd you get that from? I hate the trend of new modern games though. I can't get behind the move of making unfinished games, charging premium and relying on patches. Yeah, we were talking about this a lot with Banjo-Kazooie because back in those days, like you couldn't do a patch, right? Like you sold a disc and then it was good. 60 for console. Wait, wait, wait. Alan Wake 2 is going to be 50 for Epic Store and 60 for console. Digital only. Hmm. Is that just an incentive to buy it through Epic? Get down! Oh, sorry. I'm just always throwing grenades out. <laughs> Bethesda game. Yeah, I don't love it, but at the end of the day, I, I, I don't think people are making a, a big enough stink about it that they can just keep doing it. And people are going to keep buying the game and people are going to keep playing. Mm, nothing to see. I like that you don't play games right when they come. Well, I missed it. 
right when they come out. I don't like spoilers, so it gives me time to play them first. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I feel like that became my MO. And also, Boomamon, thank you so much for another donation. Thank you. I don't know what that explosion was, but I don't want to know. I feel like it kind of started happening. It was like a happy little accident that that's kind of what happened in my content, or that's what I started to do. And now I've just stuck with it. Grenade on reload button is a problem. Yes, yes, absolutely. There's so many good games, exactly. I gotta catch up on all of these games. I'll get to it when I get to it. There's few games that I will say an exception for. Like, I'm just gonna be straight up with you guys. When Fable comes out, we're not waiting. We're not waiting. Day one, baby. We're hitting it hard. Boobamon, have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging around. Alan Wake 2, I think I will be playing right when it comes out. Oh. My bad, my bad. But, um, or it'll be a little bit after it comes out. But that's also gonna be for YouTube. Am I gonna kick chickens day one? Uh, next question. Next question. Uh. Okay, go, go, go. Nice. Just hoping that Starfield doesn't fall into the Bethesda curse. What if they've, what if? And I'm glad that everybody's honestly, Bethesda's in a really good spot because so many people are expecting it to be buggy. And I'm not saying it isn't gonna be, it probably will end up being buggy after all, but they have a lot of power right now to prove so many people wrong and make so many people like restore faith. Because so many people have already assumed it's gonna be horrible. So you really can only go up from here. Or they're gonna not horrible, but just buggy. I'm out. I'm out. The advanced drones suck. Nice. Run away. How fable? What do you say like why fable? Fable, no matter what I say, even with Witcher 3, Fable is my all-time favorite game. I wouldn't go, <laughs> despite it being my favorite one, uh, look, despite it being my favorite game, I don't always say like, I don't think, I don't want you guys to go and get it and then be disappointed. It is my favorite game because nostalgia is one of the most powerful things when it comes to gamers, I think. Like, it, I'm blowing everything up, even if I don't need to. Get down! Um, childish, I kind of talked about this before, but a lot of times it's driven by how much free time there is between the story. So for something like Hellblade, right? It's very, very... Oh, that didn't even break it. It's insanely uh, story heavy. Did somebody put up a shield? So that would just be better for YouTube. If I find games that have a lot more downtime, like right now, right, I'm doing this mission. It's not taking too much away from doing this mission right now to talk to you guys and have like another conversation. I mean, I'm missing some things. It put up a security measure. Like this thing said it put up a security measure and I didn't read it, but that's what happened. Um, also, London, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Lejat. Is it Lejat? There are some people who have played it saying it's the least buggy Beth game that they've ever played. Ah, oh yeah, because people would have early access to it, right? Not worried about Starfield. I'm going to love it and have fun no matter what. And then there's people like, I, I definitely fall into that category that even if a game is buggy, if it's not something that directly impacts my overall enjoyment of the game, right? Like, if it's something where I'm continuously being kicked out of the game, like... That's kind of different for me. I think that that would end up making me a little bit more frustrated. But if it's slight performance issues, I don't mind it too much. I mean, you guys saw me grin and bear it through Survivor. The fact that Survivor had performance issues did not impact my enjoyment for it whatsoever. Except for day one. Because day one, I wasn't expecting it to be that bad. But then afterwards, I was like, well, this is probably going to happen again. Once my expectations were tailored that it could happen again at any moment, I just went forward. All right. Containing the VI is offline. So I believe that means we are done because when that noise happens, right? No, there's one more. There's one more section. Notorious, welcome back in. Uh, bugs, I don't mind. It can be patched. I get, whatever they promise is what you want to see. Mm. 
what gets me is promised content that isn't delivered or false like trailers right like trailers that show one thing for the sake of like shock and awe and then that's not the case at all so my question is that is vi core six but there were only two facilities so this is kind of weird maybe there's a missing one last of us two is left strong strong oh feelings uh gigas i don't disagree like all trailers to some extent want to get you like it's like the it's like the writers what do they always say the like writers poll or whatever like they want you to want to be there but there is the difference between alluding to some things and then downright like last of us 2 what they did with that trailer i i don't know i feel like that was trickery it hit, hit different. The scars are worse. Writer's block? No, not writer's block. No, it's what, what's the technical term for like, it's like what grabs you in a book. Like the hook, I guess the reader's hook, I think it is. If I don't get picked up by a giant in Fable, a giant Richard in Fable, I'm gonna be so disappointed. You think that's actually gonna happen? Do you think you're gonna be this? Oh, there are three facilities. Don't mind me. Cover me. Mm. The hook. The bait and switch. The good old bait and switch. Teasers always work better than trailers, in my opinion. Uh, yes. Uh, this is why I generally don't watch trailers for anything. The only time I've done, like, trailer reacts have really been for YouTube or when we watch the showcases. I'm fine to continue to, like, I liked, I liked watching the showcase together. I actually really had a lot of fun with that. So I want to continue to do that. But I think going forward, I'm not going to actively seek out trailers. Mm. Last of Us, the, the, I guess also it, it comes down to the individual person. Like for me, I could have just watched the trailer for Last of Us 2 and then said, okay, I'm not going to use this to compare to anything once I hit the game. But I did. So I think for me, it's the same thing as the trailer for FF7. I need to just expect that there might not be any similarities. Like expect the worst. No expectations for Starfield because I don't own an Xbox or a PC. Oh, are you a PlayStation? Chalk, you're a PlayStation user. I watch teaser trailers. I think they're good for what they are, but anything more is big spoilers. Well, because I feel like a lot of trailers also want to show you like a horrifying part, right? They show you like the, a little bit of insight into the plot. But I mean, I also, I know people want to see that too. I think a lot of people want to see that what they're paying for is worth the money. I mean, I will always, like, I'm very aware of my own bias in games, but there's always more, right? Like, I'm not 100% aware of every single bias that I have, but I try to be. Wait a minute. This is the one we've been in. And I should have known that by the fact that there were no enemies, but I was weirded out that there were shields that were put up. It is a thousand worlds to visit. See, that would exhaust me too. I like right now the way that I've kind of set up the yearly structures and this is my second year doing it like this but I like to start a year with a open world game then play a couple short ones or shorter ones and then go back to and then go back to a long one and then like then I have October I mean usually once I hit the latter half of the year the it flies by. Naughty Dog showed a gameplay demo of Last of Us 1 and Uncharted Lost Legacy. Then the final product came out and they changed the level layout. That was nice though. Oh, that's cool. So you got to see a demo, but it was still different by the time you saw it. Oh. Um, also, Musai, is it Musai? Thank you for the follow and welcome in. Was the beginning, the intro of FF16, I is that what trouble. people got to see or got to try? in the demo was that the demo was All the intro down. like that whole massive chunk ah uh, it was the first two hours the intro was the demo that is also really well done because i would not have minded playing that at the beginning but it was cool not having played it geth destroyer no okay singularity this year do this marksman Marksman is so good. I think it's broken. Woo! Marksman's the best. It's the best. 
Save data carried over too. That's fantastic. The moon isn't made out of cheese? Wait, what? <laughs> That's awesome. No, I have not tried Starfield yet. Starcraft. Wait, Star Citizen. <laughs> Damn it, I do this every time. And it always gives me crap for this. Star Citizen. No, never. Never. There's so many stars. Stargate. Star Star Trek. But I am really excited for Outlaws. Like, I, I'm getting more and more excited. I only watched the teaser from the Xbox showcase, but is there another? Did you guys say there was another trailer that came out? Do you look up Starfield? Have I looked it up? No. Have I seen what we were shown at the Xbox showcase? Yes. Additional security drones powered up, by the way. Stardew Valley. Oh, I love Stardew Valley. You guys, come on. Okay, see, they're not even getting through. Longer gameplay segments. The game Anna is in. Or published. The one that or published. That one, that one game. I mean, she's been in so many, so you can't just say that one game. No Man's Star. Starcraft over Star Citizen. I don't even know what Star... Shields disabled. I don't even know what Starcraft is. Or Star... Field. Shepard's been hit! Boy. Nice. Good as new. Tifa Star... The Star Shower is broken. And I'm so glad that I figured that out sooner than later. Metal Gear Solid. Metal Star Solid. I haven't seen it yet, Vicus. Is... Is she acting like she's getting hurt every time I shoot this? A burst of white noise over all frequencies nearly deafens you. Your hard suit's headset, wait, heads up display interprets it into a series of zeros and ones. They repeat again and again, blanking, uh, blanketing of all frequencies until the lights on the final six cluster flicker and die. Specialization class achieved. Your specialization class will replace your base class in the talents on the squad screen. Talent ranks in your base class transfer over to your specialized class. Go to your squad screen to view the bonuses you gain from each rank in the specialized class. What? So I get to pick one of these? Wait a minute. Does it spell hype? Or help, hype. Help? Help. Leon, help. Um, all right, so a shock trooper. Highly trained killing machines, excel in all combat situations, increases health, damage, protection, immunity, barrier, and adrenaline. Nemesis is a biotic specialist who uses mass effect fields to inflict heavy damage against opponents. Increases duran duration and damage for all biotic abilities. I don't use warp and lift enough, but I love using singularity, but I think that, that it's, o it's OP on its own, so I feel like Shock Trooper... I think Shock Trooper is applied better for my play style. Stargate, you would probably watch just as just the movie. Stargate Troopers? Oh, I really thought that they were having us simulate being deaf there for a second. Like from the noise. Okay, so squad. Oh, sorry, scientist. So where did they say that it got replaced? I love how we have an identity code, too. Stargate, you gotta watch the show. The show over the Starship Troopers. Where am I getting Starship Troopers? Singularity isn't even on... No, it's not on me. It's on Liara, unfortunately. I wish it was just on me so I didn't have to take Liara. Okay. Spectre Training's max, too. Either way, it's done. We did it. Yeah. Guys, look, it can fit all of them right here. Gaming, we've just been doing side missions. Uh, we're saving main mission for Saturday. Uh, floppy pickle, sorry, I should have floppy pickled that to answer that question. So I'm kind of, yeah. Mm. We didn't do it. You did the thing. I did. So we are down to, I'm trying to think if any of these are... Uh, Star knows high. So we need to find the League Medallion. These are findables. Turian, we have to find. Um, we need to deliver this, but I can't go back to the Citadel yet. I knew I should have looked at that earlier. I did a thing. Geth incursions. 
I can go back to at the start of next time. And then the two missing engineers we can do. DLCs you can do. Floppy Pickle DLCs are fine to do at any point in the story mission. Starship Troopers. Extermination is fun with a group of friends. Wait, there's multiple Starship Troopers? And then Hostile Takeover. Eliminate Crime Lords. Oh, I forgot about eliminating the Crime Lords. Do we want to do that? I didn't want to do it, but I kind of want to do it. She gave it to us. It's on the list. I have to do it. DLCs you do before the end of the main. But you already did ME1 DLC. But I have this DLC. X57. It's part of the DLC. Right. I don't think it's the same level movie. But Barbie was worth seeing also for sure. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait for both of them to go to like streaming services. I am just not really drawn to either. I'm going to be honest. I'm probably in the minority on this one. But I just am not that interested. Um, if it's on the list, then you have no choice. Exactly. Exactly. The last of us. To the Normandy. I do, like, I I think if I were to see one, I would probably see Oppenheimer before I would see Barbie movie. I, I just don't have any particular draw to see the Barbie movie, although, except for Margot Robbie. Like, she's the sole reason I would see that. I just didn't, I didn't care for Barbies even growing up, so I don't know. <laughs> Save your movie. Meet her for streams with us. Ex yeah. I try also. I think that's why like a lot of people ask why I don't watch so many movies or things like that. Um, I have a ma like a massive consumption of screen time from recording and streaming. And so I really, really try to get away from a screen in other things I do. Okay, guys, um, I know I'm kind of ending a little bit early tonight, but I feel like this is this is a good stopping point. I also feel like I'm kind of reaching the end of my meter. I know I've been, um, I've been a little bit maybe more quiet or just docile today, but, um, I appreciate you guys kind of understanding and just being here for me. I know I didn't have to stream today, but I absolutely wanted to. This has improved my mood tenfold. Like it's, and I hope it does the same thing for you guys when y'all are having just mad days as well. Um, so I will be back on Saturday and we will do main mission stuff. And I think we're going to do, I think we have two more side missions we could do as well as I might just have to look up where all of the planet locations are for some of those collectibles. That way we don't have to go back through every single planet, but we could collect a lot of them. Um, but yeah, and, and no raids tonight, guys. I, I feel like I kind of need to just go, go enjoy some food and and just hop off but i really appreciate absolutely all the support especially all the messages in the discord last night it meant the absolute world to me to know that i just have a whole community backing me no matter what starnos zen casty there's more collectibles that are required yeah i have some more that i have to find coyote good night um yeah so thank you for tuning in thank you for just making a difference in my life and just always cheering me up so overzealous candidate classy master da vinci frost wolf omnito raj goodnight all of my mods thank you zook classy hungry um and i do just want to like say one more time like uh, if you haven't seen it and you want to, it's in the Discord, but I just want to make sure as well for anybody that is in the Discord or in this community at all, it just is a blanket statement that if you guys ever feel unsafe here, please message a mod. Please like reach out through the ticket system or through a mod if it's on Twitch um, because it everybody deserves their privacy or any like just safety in general, like on the internet or not. So Butcher, good night. Falky, good night. Revolver. Sha, Ross, Chalk, good night, Bear, good night, Roomba, Clout, Omni, London, TJ, Split, Darpass, Denmal, Girl Scout, Shadow, Raj, Flynn, Classy, Judge, Darkstar, Crate, Zealous, Vold, Cater, Raj, Pape, you were here, Pape, good night, Frost, good night, Starnos, Giraffe was here, No Name, good night, Matt Love, Dead Mall, Commandant, Andy, Matt, Omnito, Young Cartwheel, yeah, I might grab some Taco Bell or pizza, we'll see what happens. Austin, Lewis, Maddie, Vibe, Falky, Jargon, Dead Mall, Coyote, Popeye, London, 
with the gifted sub to young cartwheel guys i love y'all so much thank you for everything you guys do and always your time more than anything and i will see y'all on saturday all right bye